morning, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Trading Capital's daily live stream of the market open. Today is currently March the 28th. This is the essentially the final trading session in the um, in the quarter. I mean, tomorrow is a shortened trading day, so I mean, this is going to be your full last full day. Futures will be open tomorrow, but let's dive right into what's transpiring right now in the markets. So we had a lot of data come out this morning. The data initially. Basically, let's just dissect what happened here. The dollar was actually looking strong going into this morning. And the data that we got today around initial job loss claims, GDP, PCE, has caused the dollar to actually fall. GDP came in higher than expected. So it's really intriguing to see the dollar falling sharply here. Initial job loss claims kind of came in line with market consensus and expectations. So nothing really crazy there. Right now, the dollar's just trying to break out of this little bit of a um potential pattern here you can see this trend line from this pivot to this pivot and a little bit of an attempt at a breakout on the four hour chart looking to confirm it so as of now the dixie has triggered this inverse head and shoulders but markets are still grinding higher in an uptrend you are starting to see some leading stocks underperform the market specifically like nvidia amd you're seeing some rotation out of semis at the moment you do have um, all indices green the russell's actually outperforming qqq is flat smp is flat but you have Apple down 0.58%. You have NVIDIA down half a percent. Microsoft just slightly negative. AMD down 0.3. SMCI down 1.2. Tesla down 1.13. You have Meta slightly green. Google slightly green. Amazon slightly green. So it's so fascinating to see Apple, NVIDIA, Microsoft, and Tesla all negative on the session. And the Qs are just flat. Very, very, very cool to see. All right, so basically with the dollar getting faded, it is looking to rebound. It's still slightly positive. So we're going to see if the dollar wants to rebound at all and push higher. That should put pressure on the overall equities. You can see Bitcoin here still hovering around the 70K level. You had that big rejection breakout here a couple days ago on Wednesday or yesterday, and it got faded. You're rebounding now, basically trying to put in another little flag pattern you are at some four hour chart resistance. You can see this little trend line here going back from this pivot to this pivot. That was your original head and shoulders neckline that triggered on Bitcoin. And you're just chopping inside of this range at the moment. Bitcoin is looking like it wants to press higher. But again, if the dollar can firm up and press as well, that should hinder it in the short term. Nvidia right now down trading at 897. If you look at the daily chart, you can see Nvidia has actually pierced that seven day moving average. And it does leave it vulnerable to actually coming all the way down to this trend line here at 870. Whether or not that happens today, uh, we'll find out, but most likely won't. All right, a couple things I'm watching. I'm watching to see how Bitcoin responds. You know, I'm looking at potentially fading the market today again. I'm looking at potentially fading the market. Even names like MSTR are still exceptionally overbought. I mean, the nice thing about MSTR is that it has pulled back from its pre-market high quite substantially. You can see that it hit a high here of roughly 1984, almost 1985, 1986 actually on the chart. So I'm just gonna mark that in on the pre-market level. That's your high. So I'm looking at potentially fading some of the crypto stocks to see if we get any weakness. I'm actually looking at potentially fading the Qs as well. If we look at the QQQ chart. Thank you guys, thank you, thank you. Look at the QQQ chart. It looked like we were putting in this bearish pattern yesterday. And then in the last 30 minutes, boom, just absolutely a face ripper. So right now, the Qs, after breaking out of this range, there could be two upside targets. So you have this down sloping trend line and you have this parallel channel. So your aggressive traders will short this 445.78 level. More conservative traders will wait for about 446.70. I haven't quite decided. I want to see how the rest of the market opens. But as of now, mega cap tech is under a little bit of pressure. I'm also potentially looking at going long the SOXS that's currently green in the pre-market. Right now you do have oil and nat gas, both uh, positive on the session. Oil's up 0.92%, trading at 82 a barrel. Nat gas having a bullish reversal up 2.07%. Nice potential moves there. The 10 year yeah. yield is up 0.62, two year yield is up uh, 0.92. So there's quite a bit on watch right now. We'll see how things want to shape up. Just looking at my other channel. 
ammo here. can see the SOXX just currently trading right at that neckline region where you had the big technical breakdown. So you tried getting above, broke below it, broke below it again, and you're just in this range still. You can see Bitcoin trying to make another range break to the upside. NVIDIA's 20-day uh, moving average is sitting at 888.80. 888.80. Do you think rotations might come in sectors as usual during the quarter end? Yeah, well, you could. Typically what you see actually during um, the month end is you see a little bit of window dressing to the upside. So um, I actually think that, um, yeah, I do think that you could see some rotation. But typically you do see the strong names catch a bit into the end of the into the end of the quarter, which is interesting to see NVIDIA getting faded. But definitely I think you're close to a capital rotation trends. You are starting to see forms of it across uh, the market here. All right, markets are set to open here, guys. Let's just take it slow. Let's just take it slow. Again, Bitcoin's pushing up to the high side at the moment, above 71K. Let's see if it can hold those gains and build over top of it. You have the Russell trying to break out past a really, really key pivot zone. So the Russell 2000 is trying to break out today. Upside resistance, um, since you're clear of this double top, is really at 211.10 on the Russell. 211.10. Just going to flip this to a little bit of a shorter time frame on the queues. We'll go three minute there. We'll look at the 10 minute chart on Bitcoin. Bitcoin's still looking very, very strong. Hey, Paul, think, thinking of fading that gas for a day trade, high short term RSI and 7A. Just be careful with that one. Just be careful with that one. All right, markets are open, guys. Markets are open. QQQ coming in pretty sharply at the moment. The Qs are coming in. All right, guys, I am going to look to fade MSTR here. I'm going to pull a short 1944. 1944 short MSTR. 1944, this is a high risk one fourth position. I'm short MSTR 1944. High risk trade setup, guys. This is a very, very high risk trade setup. Qs are looking to get faded a little bit. You have MSTR pushing back up again. Qs are coming in just a touch more. There goes MSTR. can see Bitcoin still just trying to hold here. We are short MSTR at 1944, guys, 1944. Look at the queues coming in. That's really good to see.
Bitcoin starting to come in a little bit harder at the moment. Still holding MSTR short. Dang, Microsoft. Yeah, Microsoft, everything dumping here. NVIDIA is hitting its uh, daily 20 moving average. So this could be a bounce spot for the market. NVIDIA is hitting its daily 20 moving average. You actually have the Russell surging higher here. MSTR right back up. Bitcoin right back up. Again, there is some daily chart support here on NVIDIA. Microsoft still a little bit lower. You're hitting hourly chart support now on Microsoft. NVIDIA probably gets a bounce here because it's hitting that daily 20 moving average. So expect the Qs to get some sort of a bid. I do expect the Qs to get some sort of a bid. Tesla's falling still, NVIDIA's still coming down. Pretty much all mega caps are under immense pressure at the moment. <clears throat> See MSTR pushing right back up. Next ad level on MSTR is really into this gap fill around 1974 and then kind of your double top. Bitcoin's still pressing here, guys. Qs are still coming in just a touch. You have uh, NVIDIA down 1% again. NVIDIA down 1%. That gas still holding up uh, nicely here. All right, guys. I did just get filled there on MSTR at 1974. 1974. That's the second entry on MSTR. 1974. My average is sitting at 1958.99. Bitcoin's still trying to press higher and push. Again, you have NVIDIA trying to hit some daily chart support. Let's see if we get a bounce. Russell's still surging higher here. Dixie's still fading. Bitcoin's still pressing. MSTR's still pushing for new highs. Still see the Qs putting in potentially a little bit of a bearish pattern. Look at Bitcoin trying to break higher here, guys. Microsoft's trying to balance. Apple's still weak on the session, down about 1.18. So a lot of weakness in mega cap tech right now. Tons and tons of weakness. And big question is, are we going to get some sort of firming in price action? Your med is also weak. Got a nice three bar surge down on meta. Still just waiting on MicroStrategy. We only have a half position short at the moment. Half position short. Half position short. Oil at the moment still ripping higher. Oil is still absolutely flying to the upside.
Bitcoin seeing a little bit of reversal in price action here. That's a pretty hard reversal on Bitcoin, guys. Pretty hard. NVIDIA still no bounce off that seven day looking weak. So NVIDIA still pretending, potentially trying to come down here. VIX is trying to go positive and creep up just a touch. The VIX is trying to go positive and creep up just a touch here. All right, MicroStrategy coming in a little bit harder with Bitcoin. So MicroStrategy is coming in a little bit harder with Bitcoin now. You can also go long BITI at this level, guys. I have no issues with that. No issues going long BITI. That is a nice looking trade setup in my opinion. NVIDIA is getting a bounce off of that 20 day moving average. Yep, you still have Microsoft down 0.3, Apple down 1.3. NVIDIA has recaptured a lot of the lost momentum that it's had. Bitcoin's still trying to come in. Qs are also still trying to come in. QQQ still bullishly consolidating at the moment. It does appear that it's consolidating. Still waiting on MSTR to come in. You can see Bitcoin seeing a little bit of sell side pressure at the moment as the Qs are pushing. Let's see what else is moving on the session. NVIDIA just turned green. So NVIDIA did just turn green. MicroStrategy still continuing to press higher. Qs are going for the high of day. Qs are going for the high of day, guys. Again, a nice, <clears throat> a nice bounce on Nvidia, helping propel the Qs higher here. Again, there is a little bit of a short zone up at this range, 445, but it, it's risky because you're putting in consolidation here. So, I mean, you're probably a little bit better to wait for this 446.77. Matt Gas still trying to press higher here, but seeing a little bit of consolidation. In terms of sector performance at the moment, guys, you have uh, XLK and XLY negative as long, along with XLY. The rest of the sectors are green, showing strength. 
IWM still leading the charge. Apple trying to bounce. Tesla's looking exceptionally weak at the moment. Exceptionally weak. Video again trying to put in a bullish reversal. It is looking strong. Still just waiting on MSTR and Bitcoin. Really no pullback yet to be seen. QQQ running into a little bit of trouble in this zone. So the Qs are running in. Let's just go to the two minute time frame and see how we're shaping up. Bitcoin's still struggling in this area. You know, you're seeing a lot of attempts at breaking out. You saw it yesterday, you saw it today, and it keeps getting slammed down. It does keep getting slammed down. MSCR right back up. QQQ appears to be putting in a little bit of a bullish flag pattern. Does one appear to move higher? You have AMD up one, Canopy Growth down 5.7, Apple down one and a half, Tesla down one and a half, CCL down one and a half, Tilray's up, Ford is up 1.23, Rivian's catching a nice bid today. Again, Nvidia's made a bullish reversal back to the high side. MSTR pushing right back up again. Same thing with Bitcoin. Bitcoin's still trying to consolidate in this range. We're still short MSTR with an average of 1958.99. It is a half position. It's a half position at the moment. Bitcoin seems to be uh, wanting to press lower here as the queues are pushing. Dixie's still slightly green, but has definitely faded. You are seeing the VIX catch a little bit of a pop. VIX is catching a little bit of a pop, guys. All right, so QQQ is coming into its first little scalp short zone here up in this range. Let's just move this. So QQQ is coming up into its first tradable scalp range. Let's see if it can actually work out that way. Oil looking like it wants to break a bull flag pattern. So that's looking pretty sharp. Looking like it has more upside in the tank. NVIDIA is still really, really strong at the moment. Amazon's trying to press. Mara coin MSTR still strong.
Apple's trying to stabilize here. Microsoft's also trying to go green. NVIDIA went green. Apple's definitely lagging the market as a whole. Still have the Q's, S&P, and Russell all green on the session. All green on the session. Amazon's flying. Tesla's lagging. Apple's trying to press. MSTR, we're basically now flat on the trade. Let's see if Bitcoin can come in a bit. Qs are still pressing higher. Let's look at that 10 minute chart on the Qs. Take a look at that. You're coming up into that first down sloping resistance, guys. First down sloping resistance on the Qs is approaching. Let's see what happens in this range. Google acting well, NVIDIA is just soaring and roaring. Nat gas has had a nice 40 minute pullback. So Nat gas seeing a little bit of sellers coming into the picture. Dollars getting rejected here. Dixie's still coming lower. You actually have the Russell getting slightly faded here. The Russell 2000 is getting slightly faded as the Qs continue to press. Bitcoin's still trying to press higher here. It's trying to retest 70,000. Would you add to stocks here or wait until later? Uh, Eric, you're a member, so I mean, I would just uh, wait here. You know, it hasn't materially impacted our average. I don't like to, I like to wait for a little bit of a bigger move. But uh, I mean, if you don't have a position, I think you're okay. I think you're okay to add here to the stocks, definitely. All right, so we are seeing the Russell 2000 fade a little bit. Remember, that's been the strongest indice. I do like the 210 puts in this range on the Russell as it is getting faded here. But we'll keep our eye on the QQQ as well. Let's see if we can get any sort of a reaction down. A 
Again, you had NVIDIA make a really, really big bounce. Still waiting on MSTR. You have NVIDIA seeing a little bit of sellers coming in. Apple's still trying to bounce. Russell's still trying to come in just a touch. MSTR is still seeing Bitcoin starting to roll over a little bit harder now, guys. Bitcoin is starting to roll over just a touch harder. Dixie's still weak. You have the SOXS catching a bid. Again, we're still holding MSTR short. I do like 210 puts on the Russell. Even 209s look kind of interesting. You have the Dixie getting faded. So the Dixie's still fading in this range. You like this channel? Thank you, Gabriel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So again, we're still just holding this MSTR, waiting on that. Again, the Russell 2000 is seeing a little bit of weakness. That was the strong indice, and now you have the Qs starting to actually outperform. So this is going to help our MSTR trade. This will help our MSTR trade. And now we just got to wait to see if the Qs want to see any sort of weakness. We still have strength in NVIDIA, Google, weakness in Meta. Now we're in the money again on our Q, on our um, MSTR, but I still think that there could be a big, big reversal down. Qs are still trying to press higher here. Qs are still trying to attack this resistance point. Let's see if it's successful in getting there. All right, so Qs are tagging or trying to test this little resistance. Still not quite there yet, but getting close. Getting very close on the Qs. Bitcoin still remaining pretty resilient in this range. Dollar again still getting faded at the moment. The Dixie is coming down quite substantially. Right now you have AMD up 0.8, SMCI down 0.72, Tesla down one and a half. You have the SOX, so SOXX actually green on the session. Coin up three, Mara up five, 
net gas up one and a half. Arm caught a bid. Meta Google week, so weakness in communications. I'm seeing a little bit more sectors turning red here, guys. We have regionals, KRE just turned red. XLB materials turned red. Uh, financials on the brink of turning red. Utilities, tech still red. So a little bit more weakness starting to creep into this market. And that could be telling us that there is going to be some more sell side pressure coming in. Again, we're still short MSTR. I like uh, 445 puts on the Qs. I like 210 puts on the Russell, maybe even 209 on the Russell. But at this point in time, we're just waiting patiently to see what transpires here. MSTR coming in quite sharply now, a little bit sharper at the moment, so that's good to see. SOXS catching a nice little bounce and that gas appearing to put in a bit of a bull flag on that gas guys a bit of a bull flag on that gas Tesla still weak Microsoft's now coming in sharper here comes the Q's so Q's are now falling much much sharper as the Russell's trying to hold up Seeing Lululemon squeezing higher. Lululemon 400 calls look pretty enticing. Lululemon 400 calls, you know, give yourself a couple weeks. Those look very, very enticing. Our cues are still coming in. MSTR is still coming in, guys. Your first support on the Qs is really going to be back at this channel here, 444. So we could have a flush down to 444. All right, MSTR is now starting to cooperate, and we really haven't seen any sort of weakness yet in Bitcoin. Dixie still getting faded. You still have Apple negative, Microsoft negative, SMCI, Tesla negative, Meta, Google negative, Amazon's positive, and NVIDIA and AMD are also positive, AVGO also positive. First little 10 minute topping tail on the QQQ. So there is a bit of a 10 minute topping tail on the Qs, which could signify potentially a little bit of a high of day. We'll see if it turns into anything. Russell just made a big pop there. Q's just made a big pop. Still in the driver's seat of MSTR, we're seeing it fall nicely here. We are seeing it fall nicely. So again, anyone that's taken that trade with us, you're in the driver's seat at the moment. We are in the driver's seat, up about 22 bucks a share. You know, downside target on MSTR. Wow, this name's so extended. You know, I could see it retesting uh, 1814 today. So I could see a hundred point drop. I could easily see a hundred point drop. QQQ right back up to the highs. Same thing with the Russell. So pretty strong resiliency. Here comes MSTR guys. Nice fall on MSTR. So again, if you want to take profits, you can take profits here. You're hitting a gap fill. I'm going to hold for more. I am going to hold for more think that we could see quite a significant fall on MSTR and really Bitcoin hasn't even started reversing yet. So that's kind of the interesting part. QQQ getting slightly rejected. Russell still strong, pushing near the highs. So the IWM is pushing near the highs.
cues are getting slightly faded here. Dollar's trying to put in a small intraday reversal. Nothing crazy. Just a small little reversal potentially forming on the Dixie. All right, guys, I like 445 puts on the Qs. 445 put, zero DTE. 445, zero DTE put on the Qs. I just got filled at 90 cents a con. 90 cents a con. 445 put on the Qs. And Russell, I'm going to go with a 210 put on the Russell. This is a high-risk trade. IWM 210 put, zero DTE. On the Russell, I got filled at 26 cents a con, 26 cents a con. Still holding MSTR, guys. All right, let's see what else is moving here at the moment. Regionals went positive again there. So regionals firmed up and went positive. You actually have the Dixie trying to put in a little bit of reversal. So, I mean, the little sell-off in MicroStrategy has really happened on a weak Dixie. So Wixie's trying to put in this 10-minute reversal. You know, you can see the support that the dollar is coming into. A little bit of a fake break down there, and now it's trying to push up. Nat gas, please. Yeah, I could take a look at Nat gas. All right, so cues are seeing a little bit of weakness there coming into the picture. Cues are seeing a bit of weakness. <clears throat> All right, so Nat gas had that bullish reversal was negative. It was negative earlier. And you can see it had a little bit of a breakdown and they're saving it now. So Nat gas is looking structurally a little bit more bullish at the moment to press higher, believe it or not. So a nice little flag pattern intraday. I think your extension move today is around 180. That's your max measured move. Um, but at the moment, Nat gas is looking like it wants to at least charge a bit higher intraday. Remember, we do have inventories in Nat gas today. So inventories are coming out a little bit later which definitely could be market moving. So pay close attention to that. All right, cues are under a little bit of pressure. Cues are coming up into a little bit of pressure here. Let's look at the one minute chart on the cues. MSTR, still holding MSTR on the short side. Good morning, Jazz, good morning. We are seeing Bitcoin back above 71K and pressing. So Bitcoin is still trying to press higher here.
<clears throat> so those 445 puts on the cues are coming in the money here, guys. So 445 puts on the cues are coming into the green, into the money. Come on, give us some more downside. MicroStrategy still seeing some sellers. Tesla down 2%, SMCI down 1%, NVIDIA still green, Microsoft slightly red, Apple down 1%. You have the Russell 2000 also coming in. Russell 2000 is starting to come in just a touch on the IWM. All right, QQQ, 445 put is in the money at the moment. I'm still holding. I still think we could at least touch this EMA 113. Look at MicroStrategy, guys. So now this is coming in sharply again. We're writing a short on MicroStrategy of 445, zero DT put on the Qs, and we're writing a 210 put on the Russell. All of them are in the money at the moment. So another one. Hey, Gabriel, thank you, thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. Again, if you want to check out, Gabriel, my actual website, it has much, much better content. All right, guys, bigger breakdown in the queues. Those cons are now sitting at $1.14. We grab them at $0.90. Cents. So I'm still looking for more. Let's see how much we can squeeze out of the queues. Look at MSTR. We're in the driver's seat, guys. If you want to take profits, by all means. But I still think that we could see a heavier reversal. I still think that there could be more. I'm seeing Apple bear flag, NVIDIA getting sold into Google, still strong, Meta putting in a little bit of a bear flag. Look at the sell-off in MSTR, guys. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Nice sell-off in the Russell also occurring. Wow, MSTR is falling sharply here, guys. MSTR is coming in hard. Coming in hard. All right, guys, I just sold my QQQ put. I sold them at $1.15. So it took them from $0.90 cents to $1.15. And I'm still holding the Russell 2000 210 put. Russell 2000 210 put, I'm still holding. And MSTR, I'm still holding. So nice little win on that QQQ put. That's a really good win on the session. Still holding the Russell 2000 put, still holding a micro strategy short. Bitcoin hasn't even really come in yet. Thanks, Briston. Appreciate that. Qs are still coming in sharply. It's good to see. The Russell 210 put is almost in the money, guys. Almost in the money on the Russell 210 put. Currently up about 47% on the Russell. 47%. But I want that 210 in the money. Still holding MSTR, guys. Look at this fall. We are in the driver's seat. Come on, baby. Come on down. Come on down. And this is a fall that... And it hasn't even Bitcoin hasn't even really started to fall yet. Still looking strong, still in this range, and you can see MSTR is coming in quite nicely, quite nicely. All right, Russell's getting a bounce there that could help the indices. Tesla's getting absolutely demolished at the moment. Bitcoin coming in much much sharper now. There goes Bitcoin, guys. There goes Bitcoin. Yeah. 
So again, MSTR is now down, negative on the session. MSTR is negative on the session, I repeat. Guys, high risk trade. I took a Mara $22 put expiry today. A Mara $22 put. Bitcoin still coming in. MicroStrategy getting a little bit of a bounce. Russell's trying to hold above 210. Qs are bouncing here. Come on, Russell. 210 put, get in the money. Come on. Now have had the SOXX go negative, so semiconductors are seeing more weakness today. Yeah, Michael, yesterday, the last couple days, I haven't been doing a live stream. So sometimes that's the case, is that I actually don't do a live stream. I had a few other things that I needed to take care of that took uh, a little bit of precedence in the near term. Russell 2000 trying to press higher again. Bitcoin's still coming in ever so slightly. Still holding MSTR. Nvidia just slightly green on the session. Nvidia just slightly green. No, I mean, and Michael, I mean, the subscription, I don't charge anyone for the live day trade room here. This is just free. Obviously, the subscription that people pay for is for my swing trades and day trade alerts and then my daily analysis videos. Knack ass trying to get a nice little pop here. Knack ass is getting a pop. We're still holding short MSTR in the driver's seat by about 5%. Still holding a 210 put on the Russell. Let's see if crypto wants to come down at all. Mare is trying to push higher here. Crypto is getting a bounce. So is the dollar. Dollar is still trying to bounce at the moment. Russell 2000 coming back in again. Look at the drop on MSTR there. That was a nice decline there. That was a nice decline.
Still holding short MSTR, guys. Still holding this 210 put on the Russell. Look at MSTR fall, guys. Let's look at the larger time frame now to see how we're coming in. Look at this go, guys. I would not be surprised if MSTR, if Bitcoin th falls the way I think it's going to fall today, I could see MSTR coming all the way down back to 1522. How crazy of a move would that be? How crazy of a move would that be? And we're in the driver's seat, guys, on MSTR. Up nicely. We are up nicely over 6.8. Again, if you want to take profits, by all means, this is the spot to do it. Big 6% gain on a day trade. You don't want to get cute with this market. But I'm still holding for more. I think we could squeeze a bit more out of it. And we're up nicely on the Russell put as well. But I'm expecting those two tens to get in the money. I am seeing the dollar trying to curl up. Oh, welcome, Ram. Welcome. Welcome. Beautiful. Bitcoin is trying to bounce. Mare is pressing. Russell's trying to catch a bid. Dixie's still trying to press. MicroStrategy, big bounce here. Bitcoin, nice bounce on Bitcoin there. Really big bounce on Bitcoin, guys. Really big bounce, continuing. The Russell 2000 potentially put in a lower high here. So let's see if we make a lower low. And that could be giving us a little bit of a downtrend today. It could confirm a downtrend. So we're still seeing Bitcoin trying to bounce here. IWM is starting to potentially approach that 210 level, but it's still very, very strong at the moment. It's still potentially putting in some consolidation. You do have a 10 minute topping tail on the Russell, which could prove to show a little bit more weakness. Mara is still trying to press higher. It's up 7% right now, Mara. Wow, I'm in India for a one month trip and now it's 7.40 p.m. Wow, well enjoy your trip. I hope you have a great time there. That's a huge time change. That's a really, really big time change. Qs are still coming in, guys. QQQ, potential head and shoulders on the one-minute chart. QQQ does have a potential head and shoulders that it's about to trigger. Let's just watch this. You can see that it is trying to break that EMA. So Qs are on watch for a little bit of a bearish breakdown here. Roughly implies a $1.49 move, and that takes you basically almost down to the low end of the range if we fall. As of now, it's still trying to hold, still trying to hold. Bitcoin's still consolidating. Apple curling down, Microsoft curling down, Meta curling down, Nvidia curling down, Tesla pushing up, Amazon curling down.
MSTR catching a little bit of a bid, still seeing weakness in semis, more weakness in the queues, more weakness in the queues, guys. Do I expect a big market sell-off today? Um, no, but uh, anything can happen. I mean, you are seeing the VIX going green. You're seeing the dollar green. You're seeing yields slightly mixed in green. Energy is strong. So you could see it, and you've seen semiconductors get weakened here. So, I mean, there could be a little bit of a sell-off, but it would. Uh, I don't think it's going to be a big one. But, again, I don't have a crystal ball. I can see some distribution happening in the market, but small caps are still strong at the moment, up 0.38% when the SPY and the Qs are red. So small caps are still putting a little bit of an underlying bid in this market, still helping the sentiment. So if small caps break down, then it could be pretty bad. Right now you still have small caps strong, but the Q and S&P are weak. Again, VIX is catching a small bid. You know, you might see some profit taking ahead of this long weekend. I could see that coming into fruition. Netflix down one and a half. AMC down. Roku's nicely performing. Carvana's negative. JP Morgan's gone negative. Typically, when JPM goes negative, the markets also react poorly. Algorithms will take over. Institutions will leave early. Perhaps that's that's certainly a scenario that could play out. Absolutely, that definitely could play out. All right, still waiting on these Russell two ten puts. I'm still holding MSTR on the short side. Let's look at the Russell now. Since the queues are just floundering, MSTR is catching a little bit of a bid here. Queues are catching another bid. Bitcoin, let's see if Bitcoin wants to go for another round of sell side pressure. Seeing airlines are performing well today. What else do we got? DraftKings, FCX, copper stocks are performing well. Costco, Walmart are down, so putting a little bit of stress on staples. A little bit of minor stress on staples. A lot of mixed price action. I'm seeing a lot of green on the screen, but also a lot of red. So, I mean, this market could go either way today, right? I think uh, if we have a light volume session, things can definitely just float and grind higher. But definitely uh, intriguing to see that uh, Tesla, SMCI, AVGO, semis, Apple are slightly negative. NVIDIA had a massive bounce off the 20 day. Trying to firm up now. Waiting on the Russell, waiting on MicroStrategy to potentially go lower. Really weak bounce on MicroStrategy considering things. Quite a weak bounce on MicroStrategy. NatGas trying to push higher. Bitcoin still just consolidating to press potentially higher. Moad's asking for a big gap up on that gas. Yeah, that could happen, but we'll see.
Thank you, thank you, Ram. Uh, yes, yeah, so I was muted. <laughs> so yeah, really big bounce on MicroStrategy. You still have uh, Apple putting in a 10-minute bear flag, uh, Microsoft curling down, Meta curling down, Google curling down, Nvidia trying to press up, Tesla trying to press up, Amazon curling down. The Russell right now is trying to push up and make a new high of day. Could be forming a little bit of a head and shoulders pattern. Really, you have to break this neckline to see if it uh, wants to fail. But at this point in time, indices are just trying to grind higher. Obviously, Bitcoin's trying to grind higher, which is why uh, MicroStrategy is bouncing here. Nat Gas just had a nice little gap up. Inventories for Nat Gas are out right now, guys. So Nat Gas is showing some wild price action at the moment. It is trying to press higher here. So I'll pull up that chart because inventories are out. And you did get a nice bullish gap up. Typically, gap ups get faded and reversed. So let's see if that come let's see if that plays out. And Bitcoin's still acting well. Now gas seeing a little bit of sell side pressure, just a touch. Nothing crazy. Russell 2000 still up half a percent on the session. Again, there was some weakness in regionals earlier on, and then they firmed up. So that's why the Russell had that big pop back to the high side. It was initial little bit of weakness, and then the Russell firmed up. Bitcoin still trying to press higher here. Russell still trying to press higher. Qs are seeing some sellers. Dixie again, almost only up 0.11%. Definitely has faded. So you have the Q's actually breaking down a little bit more, but the Russell's still diverging and trying to press higher. Look at that nasty little reversal on that gas. Still holding a bull flag pattern, just not ready to break out quite yet. Bitcoin trying to make a new push higher, guys. Bitcoin is trying to make another push higher. You can see Bitcoin's pressing. Guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna take some profits. Just sold half of my MSTR for about a 3.65% gain at 1890. I'm gonna hold the other half with a break-even stop loss. Okay. Wow, look at the move on Bitcoin, guys. Look at the move on Bitcoin. It is just absolutely running right now. Q's inspired just slightly flat to negative. Russell's up half a percent. Bitcoin's trying to break out yet again. So a monster move up on Bitcoin, trying to press higher, up 2.78% on the session. And if we look at Bitcoin's hourly chart, the next resistance pivot is really this heavy reversal pivot that we got rejected at. A couple little reversal pivots here in around this 71, just above 71K range. So let's see if uh, Bitcoin wants to get above that topping tail. So let's see if it gets reversed. Russell's still trying to press higher here. NVIDIA hit both a 20 MA and a 25 Fib retracement. Yep, so it's definitely a support zone for NVIDIA. That's why I did get a bounce. So I had that too. The, the 20 MA was sitting at 894.70. P 
pierced it by a small margin, and now you're seeing it uh, hold those those gains at the moment. Bitcoin still holding steady. Uh, IWM still trying to press higher here, going for a little bit of a new high of day. Q's still potentially forming a right shoulder on the Q's. Apple's actually breaking down, potentially on watch for triggering the bear flag. So Apple's potentially breaking down here. Bitcoin's still really, really strong at the moment. So the Russell's just grinding and floating higher and higher here. You have Apple looking weak. Huge volume coming into Bitcoin. Huge volume coming into Bitcoin. So the Russell did make a new high there. The Russell did make a new high. Bitcoin's still strong at the moment. Really big push in the queues. Bitcoin finding a little bit of sellers in this range, just a touch of sellers. So the Russell's trying to get a 10 minute close above its topping tail. It is trying to make a nice little bullish close. Huge volume coming into this Bitcoin candle, huge volume here. It's telling us that there are some sellers stepping in there, although buyers are trying to push it. Mara at 24, yep, Mara's at 24. Mac gas still reversing. IWM still really, really strong. Bitcoin still acting well, still trying to press higher here. All right, so QQQ again, head and shoulders potentially on watch for the Qs. Let's see if it triggers that little neckline. You can see that little potential head and shoulders forming. Hasn't triggered it yet. So we'll watch that. Bitcoin's still pushing up here, guys. Bitcoin is still pressing. Definitely intriguing to see crypto so strong today. So 
you can see the Russell's into it's approaching its near-term resistance here at 211. There's some decent resistance here, and you can also see this little bit of a channel that the Russell's chopping in. Little intraday channel. So you are at resistance on the Russell. Let's see if we can push above that area. Bitcoin did get a nice 10 minute close above that initial little topping tail. Actually, did it get a close? No, it actually failed to close above that 10 minute topping tail. So that's a little bit of a near term weakness signal. Just a near term weakness signal. What is the resistance on Mara? I mean, if Bitcoin's pressing higher, there is no resistance, but you have a wide range red bar that you're trading into. You know, resistance, major resistance at 2489, but you are into some resistance here already. You know, you're getting a little bit extended, long in the tooth, but again, you know, crypto stocks, really there's not too much resistance when the underlying asset just continues to press. You are getting an overbought signal intraday on Mara. Definitely overbought, but again, Bitcoin's positive on the session, right? Bitcoin's up about 2.66%. So people really just keep bidding um, these stocks up when Bitcoin's strong. They really don't care about what type of price it's trading at as long as the crypto asset is remaining firm. But again, if Bitcoin comes in, that's when you will see it react. And then you also have small cap strong, right? The leading indice is small cap, so it's definitely helping helping things. Uh, Ram Jazz Singh is saying he expects a big market sell off today. Potentially, potentially could happen, yeah. You're going to need small caps to break down. So at the moment, you have Micron slightly negative, Google slightly negative, Meta down by about 1%. Um, MSTR down 1.83, Tesla down 1.5, SMCI has firmed up, it's only down 0.3, AMD is up 1.72, you have NVIDIA up 0.6, Bitcoin up 2.5, Apple lagging down 1.5%, I mean just look at this Apple chapel is, it just seems that there's more and more sellers, you look, look at that bear flag that's breaking down, Apple could actually come all the way down to this gap fill today, 169.78, that would not shock me. That would not shock me at all. Let's see if the Russell wants to trade lower back down to its low of the range. MicroStrategy is seeing more sellers as Bitcoin is also seeing some sellers. So Mara should start to come down in this range. I repeat, Mara has been strong. Diverging from crypto, if Bitcoin starts to roll over again, that's when you should see these crypto stocks come under pressure. But Mare is diverging. You know, Coinbase up four, Mare is up nine point two, and uh, still seeing resiliency. Still seeing incredible resiliency. Nat gas getting slightly rejected. Slight rejection on that gas. More selling coming into crypto. More selling coming into a little bit of Russell. Still holding half of that MSTR. Qs are trying to press higher here. Mare is just continuing to squeeze higher and higher here.
spy QQQ back to the green side. So you have the spy and the Qs are back to the green side. So a little bit of a divergence in crypto stocks. You have MicroStrategy coming in, but Mare is still pushing at the highs of the session. Bitcoin still trying to press above 71K. Small caps finding a little bit of resistance at this channel, but still just consolidating above that previous little high pivot. Let's see if it'll come in at all. Nice decline on MicroStrategy. We're still holding the second half of that position. So again, you're seeing Bitcoin press, but MSTR come down. Really, really wild price action. Very peculiar price action. Yeah, BTC and gold are holding hands. That's a good way to put it. They absolutely are. And they're both looking very strong still. No real breakdowns. Amazon curling down. MSTR is still falling, Bitcoin still pressing, Google trying to press, Apple curling down, uh, Tesla trying to break out of this 177 level, Nvidia trying to break out of a little bit of a bullish flag pattern, small cap still holding up well, now gas got a little bit of rejection there, still up about 0.92%, but it has faded off the highs since its inventory report. More selling coming into MSTR, guys. More selling coming into MSTR today. Tesla pushing. Google curling down, Amazon curling down. So you're almost seeing a little bit of rotation out of Amazon right now, coming back into Tesla at the moment. All right, guys, I just covered the other half of my MSTR there at that 1850.88 zone, right on this 10 minute EMA. So we banked another 5.73%. Nice trade, guys, nice trade. All right, we are starting to see the Dixie holders that it's attempting a breakout right now. So right now you have the Dixie trying to firm up and break out of this little bit of a range. So we are seeing some more strength in the Dixie. Let's see if that puts more pressure on Bitcoin and the indices as of now. Russell's still holding firm. Mara still pushing 24.40. Apple still weak on the session. Still, Bitcoin still holding strong, guys. Bitcoin is still holding firm. All indices are green. VIX is green. Bitcoin's green. Really, and Apple's just struggling, lagging the market. Bitcoin's still trying to press higher here.
Russell is hitting some really good resistance in this area. 211.10 now. It is trying to break out and press even higher. But there is some decent resistance in this range. But the Russell has consolidated. There goes Bitcoin. Bitcoin's trying to press as well. All right, Qs are still potentially forming a head and shoulders. QQQ still forming a head and shoulders. Russell remains strong. If you look at the tech selling. There's, again, a potential bearish pattern unfolding. If you trigger this little neckline, Qs could be in for some uh, downside. Obviously, it hasn't triggered it yet. And small caps are still remaining very firm on the session. They're still just pressing higher and squeezing. So small caps at the moment are definitely leading this market higher. And that puts a lot of... Um, a lot of bullish sentiment in the market when small caps are leading. Definitely does. Bitcoin still acting well, trying to press higher here. Interesting to see MicroStrategy lagging so much. I find that very peculiar. Just by Bitcoin trading at 71K, you would have thought You would have thought MicroStrategy would be flying here on a day where crypto is strong. That's not the case at the moment. QQQ coming in just a touch. You have NVIDIA breaking down, Tesla pushing, Google trying to curl up, Amazon still curling down, Meta curling down, Apple, new lows on Apple, new highs on the Russell. So it seems like a bit of liquidity is flowing out of, say, mega caps into the Russell. That's what it appears like to me. Let's see if Bitcoin wants to reverse. So Qs are just stuck in a little bit of a range at the moment. The Russell's been in a trend to the upside. The Russell has been in a nice strong trend to the upside. Dollar still hasn't broken out. The DXY has still not broken out yet.
Again, Bitcoin making another push higher here, trying to at least. A little bit more of a down candle coming into the Russell now. You can see the Russell even broke out of this nice little channel of resistance and showing some strength. 10 year slightly green, two years uh, up about 0.620 and 30 year actually negative. I think one of the reasons Bitcoin is pushing here is because you had the dollar fade and you had yields fade off of that data that we got this morning. So crypto is still remaining quite resilient in this range. Lots of resistance here, but it is still trying to press higher and higher. A lot of momentum in the crypto market at the moment. Lots of momentum. Qs are curling down a touch. Mara is still pushing, quite extraordinary. Knack ass again, still got faded slightly from the inventory report that came out roughly 27 minutes ago. All right, Qs are seeing a little bit more sell side pressure. Bitcoin's still trying to hold. The Russell's trying to get back inside of this. I actually have the channel. You can draw it this way too. Connecting these little pivots. Bitcoin up now 3% on the session and climbing. Again, what's interesting is you're still seeing MSTR fall here, guys. You're still seeing MSTR fall. Other crypto stocks are still showing unwavering strength and pressing. Lots of volume coming into the Bitcoin chart in this region. Quite a bit of volume. Microsoft slightly down at the moment. Apple's definitely lagging the market. Mare is performing up 11.42%. IBIO up 22.6%. AMD up 1%, but faded just ever so slightly. Soundhound up nicely. Canopy growth down. Intel's up one5 A little bit more sell side pressure coming into the Russell 2000. A little bit more sell side. Nothing crazy though. Nothing crazy. It's still super, super strong on the session. Just seeing a little bit of sell side pressure at the moment. And the Russell is the best performing indice at the moment. Up 0.7. Qs are flat. Spies up 0.5. So it's a mixed bag today. It's a mixed bag. Look at Bitcoin. Still really, really strong. Wow. Incredible. Dixie's actually trying to break out now, guys. So that's why the Russell sold off just a touch. You can actually see this Dixie chart. It is triggering that little bit of a bullish inverse head and shoulders pattern. You know, upside target intraday off of this move is really about a retest of 104.50. So let's mark that on the chart, 104.50. Maybe then Bitcoin will start seeing some sellers. So 104.50 on the Dixie chart. 
You can see as the Dixie broken out, the Russell's now coming in just a touch. MSTR going lower, guys. MSTR is going lower. Let's look at MARA as well. Look at the, the difference in Mara and MSTR. Quite extraordinary. Russell's coming in just a touch harder now, guys. Russell is coming in just a touch harder. Bitcoin seeing a little bit of minor selling at this range. Nothing crazy, just some minor, minor selling. Dixie's still pushing really firmly at the moment. The Dixie's actually pressing really quickly here. It's, it's actually trying to push for that target very quickly. Bitcoin still acting well. Mirror coming in just a touch. Really, the sell off in MicroStrategy and Mara, quite fascinating. The rally in Mara, the rally in Coin, the sell off in MSTR. Shows you how wild these crypto stocks can diverge from each other. Really, really quite fascinating. All right, Russell's still coming in. Remember that QQQ chart also could trigger a head and shoulders, right? we got to watch this neckline because then you could have a fairly large move down in the market. Roughly about another $1.64 from the neckline. So it hasn't triggered, but watching it closely. We've again taken a win on QQQ, a nice win on um, MSTR. Kind of down on the Russell put, the 210 put, but I still think we could hit 210. I still like uh, puts on Mare as well. I'm actually down on that trade, but still riding it. Still riding the $23 put on Mara. But it's been a nice trading session thus far. We've taken quite a bit of profits, quite a bit of profit. That nice zero DTE play. That performed exceptionally well. MicroStrategy continues to bleed lower. It's now down on the session 7.5%. And you have Mara, you know, complete divergence up to 9.6, coin up 4. So is MicroStrategy investors telling us that we're probably going to see some downside in Bitcoin off of this level? Typically, MicroStrategy is the higher beta name. And it is showing more relative dominance in the crypto space because Bitcoin dominance is clear. Bitcoin testing and trading at the all-time high prices when the total crypto market cap is well below its all-time high prices. You also look at um, the, uh, the Ethereum chart well below its all-time high prices. So just very interesting observations in the crypto market right now. Quite interesting. Dixie has broken out. Bitcoin starting to weaken just a touch, nothing crazy, but just a touch of weakness creeping into the Bitcoin chart. Heavy sell side pressure on MicroStrategy. It just seems to want to go lower and lower at this point in time. Again, the sell side pressure on MSTR is really happening when Bitcoin hasn't even fallen. So I find that so intriguing. I'm poor in MSTR at the moment. That's a nasty, nasty little candle. That's a nasty candle for sure. Makes me think Bitcoin's going to have a dump, guys. It really does make me think Bitcoin's going to have a dump. And again, my members were able to add to our MSTR short yesterday at 1961. And that's coming in quite nicely at the moment. 
quite nicely. But look at the sheer momentum in Mera compared to MSTR. MSTR can't even catch a bit at the moment. But again, Mera is not going to be immune. If Bitcoin does come in a little bit sharper, Mera won't be immune. All right, bigger down candle in the queues. That was a heavy rejection on the queues there. Potential little bear flag forming on the Russell. One minute. Bitcoin still remaining resilient in this range. Wow, MicroStrategy now down 8.68%, right? Almost 9% down. Anyone still holding, you're laughing. You're laughing. We took about 5 and 6% respectively on our... Uh, trade on MicroStrategy. IWM coming in a little bit hotter now too. So the Russell is showing a little bit more weakness since that Dixie broken out. All right, Qs are actually going to break down here, guys. The Qs are actually testing that neckline as we speak. Huge dump coming in to the Qs. We're right at that neckline. So we trigger that. And we could have a move down to 442. So I'm watching that closely. I'll keep that on my other screen. I'm still watching the Russell because it is the best performing indice at the moment. I'm still riding 210 puts on the Russell. Down on the trade. Definitely down on the trade, but still riding it. Bitcoin still above 71K. Hoping for 1640 on MicroStrategy. Yeah, that could happen. You know, I could see MicroStrategy today. If Bitcoin sells off, which is what MicroStrategy is telling us, it could hit 1569 today. That's kind of my max extension move down, 1569. There is even a gap fill sitting at 1520. So, I mean, there could be, MicroStrategy has given us a little bit of an indication that something is coming in the crypto market. You know, something is coming. Something is coming in the crypto market. Now, of course, nothing goes down in a straight line, but uh, you're definitely seeing some weakness. A lot of weakness coming into MicroStrategy, and that is... I believe MicroStrategy is, is the leading uh, crypto stock because it uh, is just directly correlated to Bitcoin, right? MicroStrategy is now hitting the seven day moving average in a pretty intraday oversold condition. If we keep obliterating through that, I'm going to be amazed. But again, crypto stocks have a tendency to overshoot in both directions, upside, downside, and you're seeing it fall pretty sharply here. Seventeen ten on MicroStrategy now down ten point nine percent. Whoa, 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 whoa! Crazy, crazy price action, guys. Crazy, crazy price action. Seventeen ten. Can we break the seventeen hundred level on MSTR? This is all happening while Bitcoin isn't even moving down yet. So, are we going to see a big collapse in the Bitcoin price? Is that what MSTR is telling us? Look at the sell side pressure. I don't even know if there's news on MSTR, but that is relentless sell side pressure. And again, Bitcoin's still positive. So that should be concerning for the overall um, MicroStrategy community there. I mean, that's a big torrential downpour. 60, we just broke 1700. Whoa, 1694, 1693, 1692. 1691 cheapers creepers Dixie just absolutely ripped face, guys. The Dixie just absolutely ripped face. 
Nice little sell-off continuing in Mara. Honestly, MSTR long at this range probably makes sense, but I'm just skeptical of Bitcoin's price action right now. Just a little bit skeptical of Bitcoin's price action. Guys, I just took a Kiki Q0DT 444 put. 444 put. I'm going to take a little bit of a lotto play as well. I'm just looking at a couple different things here. Let's just see what is transpiring here. Dixie's still ripping. The dollar is still ripping. Bitcoin's still strong, just still holding up here. QQQ sitting right on a, right on the neckline on the Qs, right on the neckline. Russell pushing right back up. MSTR is trying to stabilize here around the 1690, 1700 zone. Qs are still holding above that little neckline zone. Dollars still broken out on the charts, but seeing a little bit of sell side pressure. Again, I'm writing a 444 put on the Qs, as well as a lotto 443 zero DT put on the Qs. Those are lotto plays. Still writing a $23 put on Mara. Writing a 210 put on the Russell. Nice job, Bart. That's a monster trade on uh, on MicroStrategy. You should be proud of yourself. You took that. That's a risky trade to take, and you took it with us. That's a nice little. Uh, that's a nice little win. You should be proud of that win. That's a monster drop, and we shorted it pretty much at the open. Mirror is still coming in, just a touch more. The Russell coming in. Qs are still holding that neckline, so no real breakdown yet on the Qs. Qs are still holding that little neckline. Bitcoin starting to weaken just a touch more. So Bitcoin is coming down more now as we speak.
MSTR going lower. Qs are still holding steady. They haven't broken down yet. Qs are still holding steady. Dollar still trying to press. Now gas still firm, oil still bullishly consolidating. I mean, the fact oil is so strong, guys, that inflationary CPI print is going to be pretty crazy next month. MSTR going lower. Wow. MSTR going absolutely lower here. Still have nice strength in the Russell continuing look at Bitcoin Bitcoin's now starting to come down guys so let's see how it affects Mara finally Mara coming in sharply Mara is coming in sharper now so Bitcoin as Bitcoin falls it's going to put more pressure on these crypto stocks dollar taking a little bit of a breather here So markets are definitely heavily correlated to the dollar still. You're still seeing this great correlation. QQQ being defended at that neckline. So they are defending the Qs. Dollar's really taking a breather here. So the Dixie has softened up quite a bit. IWM trying to get another bid higher. You are seeing Amazon still curling down, Meta curling down, Microsoft curling down, Apple's trying to catch a bid here. Nvidia is still just flagging sideways, also trying to potentially form a little bit of a breakout flag pattern. Hasn't done so just yet, but it's trying. Bitcoin just doesn't want to lose 71,000. It's holding pretty steady at the moment. Steady Eddie on Bitcoin. Steady Eddie. Again, the dollar's taking a breather at the moment. The Dixie has taken a little bit of a breather.
we're still seeing Bitcoin trying to hold 71K. QQQ still hasn't triggered this little neckline. Forming a bit of a wedge pattern here on the Qs, approaching the apex of the triangle here. You're coming up into a little bit of a big move. Russell moving right back up. So still bullish continuation strength in the Russell being observed at the moment. Still massive strength. Qs are under distributive price action. The Qs are negative. Spies flat. Russell's up 0.71%. Russell's pushing right back up. Qs are also trying to catch a bid. Dollar soften. So you're still seeing a great correlation between the Dixie and the markets. As the dollar softens, you've had a nice rally in small caps. Tesla's looking a little bit weaker in this range at the moment. Bitcoin's still trying to hold steady and firm. Amazon's curling down. Nvidia's still just flagging sideways. Apple's trying to find a little bit of a low here. Chris is saying Care is very strong, although it's a low volume name. Qs are trying to break out of the wedge pattern now. You can see it's testing the high of this wedge. It is trying to break out. Russell's still curling up to the high side. Dixie took a bit of a breather again. So the Dixie did take a breather. Bitcoin's still just stuck in a range, consolidating here. Now approaching 1130. I'll probably stay on till about 12 noon. And see the, the underlying bid that the Russell 2000 is putting in the market is quite impressive. It's quite impressive. It's definitely helping the markets remain a little bit more resilient. Oh, I need to charge this phone. One second, I'm just gonna grab a charger, guys. Charge my iPad. All right, quick summary of the markets. Right now you have the majority of sectors green. The only two sectors lagging are XLK and XLI. So those are definitely underperforming the market at the moment. Uh, you have their small caps up three quarters of a percent, 0.75% of the Russell. Spiders are up 0.08%, so kind of flat. QQQ just slightly green up 0.02%, also relatively flat at the moment. You're seeing oil stocks absolutely ripping. Energy is a strong sector today. Oil's at 82.30, continuing to put inflationary pressure on this market. MSCR, why is it falling so badly? It's a good question, right? I think it's had that parabolic run, and I think that uh, it's telling us that Bitcoin's probably going to experience a little bit of a correction here. You know, MSTR traders typically are the higher beta names. They're the more um, risk 
investors that typically like to pile in for that extra alpha. But I don't know. The only thing I could think is that MSTRs, uh, I don't know if there's news, maybe Michael Saylor, something he announced something. But other than that, I think it's really just coming on the back of uh, probably a little bit of a crypto sell side pressure we could be starting to see in the near term. There could be something brewing in the crypto market. Typically, they say investors know, right? But I mean, you look at MSTR, it's, it's premium has definitely traded above Bitcoin. So it's, it's, it's definitely extended on really all time frames at the moment. So I think when Bitcoin was trading at its all time highs and MicroStrategy was trading at its all time high, there was roughly still about a 71% premium built into MSTR. So maybe that premium is just coming out, but I still think that it's probably sensing a, a bit of a crypto sell off coming. So, Russell's been putting in higher highs and higher lows. That's a strong uptrend. QQQ, lower highs. Still on watch for this wedge pattern breakdown. Here comes the sell in Bitcoin. Let's see if we get our first lower high on the Russell. Qs are breaking down a little bit more now. Again, we're riding 444 put on the Qs. And then we have a lotto play, 443. Again, always size your options for, for loss because they're, they move so quickly. Dixie, a little bit of a failed breakout on the Dixie chart. Actually, it's back testing the neckline right now, so I can't call it a failure just yet, but definitely had a breakout, got faded, which is why the Russell has moved up quite substantially. So you're seeing the Russell performing well because the Dixie's weak. Bigger dump there on Bitcoin, guys. So a bigger dump in Bitcoin. Again, that's probably why MicroStrategy has been selling off. So a nice dump there on Bitcoin. Nice decline coming into Bitcoin's chart, guys. Nice decline coming into Bitcoin's chart. This is all happening while the queues are remaining firm. Russell's remaining firm. But nice dump on Bitcoin, guys. Nice dump on Bitcoin. Queues are just stuck in a range. You're seeing NVIDIA coming in now. Apple trying to find a bottom. Google trying to press higher. Meta's still... Uh, curling down, trading below 490. Let's see what type of a candle formation occurs on on Bitcoin here. And you think about Bitcoin. If Bitcoin can go negative, it's still up 2.27%. If Bitcoin goes negative, where's Mara going to trade? Right now, Mara is still up 7.7. .7. Coin is still up 2.65. MSCR is down 12 and a half. So you could argue that MSCR has had its sell-off if Bitcoin breaks down here. Mara and Coin really uh, still trying. Mara is actually trying to perk back up though. Qs are trying to break out of this wedge pattern. Dollar trying to hold that little neckline zone. Big push in the indices coming into play right now. Big push in the queues, hitting 445 as we speak. Breaking out of a little bit of a wedge pattern. Your next resistance on the queues lies around 445.46. Huge pop on Mare there. Very interesting. Care still capital announced a short position on MSTR as a pair trade with Bitcoin. Nice. Thanks for the news, Ram. Tom's asking, is there a level today you would consider getting back into MSTR to hold over the weekend? Uh, on the long side, not really at the moment. On the short side, it's had a really big sizable move down. So I'm a little reluctant to accumulate a short at this range. You know, my members were in the money on our swing short position. 
So I mean, my average, we're already in the money nicely, which is good to see. You know, at the lows of the session, we were already up about almost 8%. Still have indices charging higher here. Dollar faded there, which is why things are still shaping up. Russell just made a higher high, another higher high. So the Russell's in absolute squeeze mode at the moment, and it does seem that this market can keep grinding as long as that Russell 2000 is remaining firm and resilient. Dollar again faded, which is why the Russell's pressing. QQQ coming in just a touch now. The Qs are coming in just a touch. Long MSCR, I, it's risky. It's risky. I could see why you want to do it. I mean, a 10% fall, but I'd wait till a bigger level. You know, what if Bitcoin looks like it's going through a little bit of, uh, a little bit of distribution here? I don't really like it. I mean, Bitcoin could easily fall another couple percent. And then what would it do to MSCR? You know, you are at some support here, high psychological 1700 number, the seven day moving average is sitting at 1717. So there is support here, but I would honestly prefer it around 1518 down there. Can you get a bounce here? Yeah, you, you could, you could absolutely get a bounce. All right, so a little bit more of a breakdown coming back into the queues as well as Bitcoin. You can see the Russell still holding firm, setting new highs on the trend. QQQ still on watch for potentially triggering this little bit of a, I'll show you on the three minute chart, but you have a head and shoulders still on watch on the queues. And that could be on the near term precipice of triggering or like literally in the next few minutes. We'll see. Hasn't broken the neckline, so we only want to wait until it triggers that neckline break. At this point, it's still just holding above the EMA. Again, my average on the QQQ 444 put, my cons are sitting at 59 cents. 59 cents. down on the trade at the moment. You see Bitcoin's still selling off now. So this is what I mean, right? Obviously MicroStrategy is firming up, but Bitcoin's still seeing some sellers in this range. So we just gotta be mindful of that. All right, more sell side pressure coming into the queues as well as the Russell. Let's see what type of action we get here. Remember there's a head and shoulders target. If it breaks that neckline, it could take you down to 442. 442. You do have the Russell still up 0.8% on the session, acting very, very well. Acting very, very well. MicroStrategy back above 1700. So getting a nice bounce off of that zone. I'm seeing NVIDIA breaking down, Tesla breaking down. 
Microsoft curling down, Apple curling up, Meta, Google curling down. So the queues are about to trigger this little breakdown. I'm actually just going to move the queues here because we could see a little bit more of a sell-off coming into the queues since uh, we are triggering a little bit of this head and shoulders potential. So they're defending the neckline. They defended the neckline. Just going to adjust this trend line here. I actually just want to draw it with a channel just to give us a bit of a some wiggle room. So again, they defended the neckline on the cues as of now. It's still on watch for potentially downside, but they are defending it. Russell getting a bid back above holding 211. does look like the cues are waning here. They're weakening just a touch here, guys. The cues are weakening just a touch. And again, they are negative slightly on the session. They are negative. Bitcoin trying to lose 71K. NVIDIA is looking like it wants to go negative. Tesla down 1.97. Uh, Apple down 1.37, Microsoft slightly negative, down by 53 cents. Still have MSCR down 11, Mara up 9, Coin up 3, NatGas up 1.3, Meta, Google each down. Meta's down 1% respectively. QQQ again testing this little break. There's the break. So now these puts will start to print. 444s, we're also writing 443s. As the, as the lotto play. It's going to be interesting to see if the Russell can hold this strength, even if the cues go through a little mini sell off. QQQ has triggered that little break of that neckline, guys. So just watch it closely. QQQ is starting to break down just a touch. Just a touch. Russell still remaining firm. Tesla getting absolutely bludgeoned here. Nice little bear flag forming on the 10-minute chart of Tesla. It does indicate more downside. Russell 2000 still just grinding higher and higher, not really worrying about what the cues are doing. The Dixie again failed to break out, which is why the Russell's holding up. But if the cues start to sell off pretty precipitously, the Russell won't be immune. You know, as of now, it's looking like a very strong chart, but it won't be immune. QQQ being defended. A little bit of a bearish divergence occurring intraday on the Russell. So it's definitely extended intraday. Qs are trying to get back above the neckline. Here's the back test. Let's see what occurs in this range. Russell's going for a new high of day. Quite incredible on the Russell. Quite incredible. There's your little back test on the cues. Kind of failing at this point. 
Again, QQQ backtest is failing at this point. What's helping this market right now is the Russell. The Russell's putting an underlying bullish sentiment in the market. Bitcoin still holding 71K, MicroStrategy back below 1700. And they just seem to be wanting to pin the cues here in this range. They're not giving. 444 lovers anything Giving the cues a little bit of a bid here. Bitcoin getting a pop right back up. Come on, cues, just give us a little bit of a break. You're putting in a potential little bear flag right underneath this neckline. Dollar still getting faded a little bit. It's trying to firm up, but still relatively weak at the moment. New high on the Russell as the QQQ are seeing a little bit more selling. New high on the Russell. Amazon's coming in really hard. So is Google. Tesla's still looking weak. Wow, Amazon's getting hit really hard here, guys. Amazon's getting hit. There's the breakdown on the queues, guys. There's the breakdown on the queues. Let's see if this will put any sort of strain on the Russell 2000 at the moment. That's holding up very, very well. Come on, queues. Come on down. Come on down. More selling creeping into the Russell 2000. Bitcoin's holding steady. Cues are trying to save the cues here. They are trying to save the cues. Cues are negative by. Uh, 0.8%, just slightly negative. Amazon Meta, Google still looking heavy, Nvidia trying to push up, Apple just stuck in a sideways range. Uh, Microsoft looking heavy as well, curling down. 
So we should still see a little bit more weakness creep back into this market through the Qs, through QQQ weakness. Dixie is trying to get back above this little neckline here. So, I mean, we, we were watching that Dixie chart earlier, right? And it had a little bit of that breakout, and it back tested it, went actually below it. Now you're trying to get back above it. But the Russell doesn't care. Russell's still gunning higher and higher and higher. Bitcoin's still charging. QQQ still elevated. Still no real sell-off that's occurred in Bitcoin. That's why you're still seeing strength in Mara. See the cues are holding on that EMA one one three, and again you see how stretched you got from the EMA on the upside when you did have this rally. So it does support the thesis that if you break down here, which it's triggered, you're still waiting for short-term confirmation that you can definitely become much much more oversold on the cues. Again, you take this distance from the EMA to your high pivot there. And basically, you drop it down from that EMA. You lose that EMA, and you could become very, very oversold. You could have a big flush. All right, Russell's still pushing. Q's still acting well. Still no breakdown in the Q's yet. Still just trying to hold at this neckline. It's trying to get above that neckline as we speak. So there you go, impressive move back on the cues again. Big candle bit on the cues, back right up. Dollar softened there, which is why the cues are pushing. Cues are back to the green. Well, not quite yet, almost though. Almost. Russell still charging higher. So it would look to be a little bit of a breakdown on the cues. They're now back above the neckline. So now we got to drop this neckline lower because that's no longer a target. So cues are actually looking like a bullish recovery again. A little bit of a bullish recovery on the cues. So just like that, they turned a bearish pattern back into a little bit of a range. We're just range bound again. Bitcoin pushing right back up. Tesla, Apple. NVIDIA all pushing, getting a nice big bid. I mean, it just shows you how pattern trading can be quite difficult because you get that little breakdown. They kind of shake people out, get people to load up on puts here, and then they pump it right back up and they just kill all that premium. Now, the Dixie is trying to push back up again. So markets are just chopping, 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 chopping. Bitcoin right back up to 71.3. So Mare is still holding firm. Microsoft coming back down again. Dixie getting a really big bid up. Markets aren't reacting.
Wow, the Russell is just squeezing, squeezing higher here. What a monster rally in the Russell. Now up almost over 1% actually on the session. Impressive, very impressive. Q's are trying to break out of this little wedge pattern here. So the Q's are trying to break out of a wedge pattern. Still have oil trading near the highs of the session. Oil's up now another 1.27%. So energy is performing quite well. Qs are trying to break out here to the high side again. Qs are tapping 445. Apple st still down 1.28. You have Nvidia up half a percent. Microsoft slightly negative, just slightly. Russell new high, Russell 2000 just made a new high on the day. Yeah, I've been adding. I picked up uh, two 11s, puts on the Russell, zero DTs. Again, sizing for loss on all these put plays, you kind of have to, you have to play it cautiously. And whenever you're taking options, you obviously, and especially when there's zero DTEs, you have to play it cautiously. Dixie breaking down here, so that could help the markets. So the dollar's actually getting whacked here. Hard five minute down candle. So that should help the indices in theory. 
We'll see. Russell's still liking it, pushing for new highs on the session. So still seeing unwavering strength there. QQQ still just struggling in this range at the moment. Bitcoin still holding up. Qs are catching another bid higher here. So the Qs are catching another bid higher. So nice big push in the queues there, really big push in the queues back above that. The Russell's seeing some sellers in this range. As the queues are trying to firm up, the Russell's just weakening. Just a touch, nothing crazy, just a touch. Queues are trying to press. So again, you're seeing a little bit of profit taking coming into the Russell and that's potentially flowing back into the queues here. We're watching both. Dixie trying to make another push higher. Bit of another 10 minute topping tail on the Russell, but again, we've had 10 minute topping tail there and it didn't play out. So it seems that every little cell candle in the queues, it's flowing into the Russell. Very interesting. I haven't really seen both indices selling off together. They've been kind of firm, holding steady. Bitcoin still holding above 71,000. The way, the way MicroStrategy is trading, you wouldn't think that. Nat gas still weak, or sorry, Nat gas is still holding 
up 0.92%, but it's been faded since uh, since that inventory report. It hit a high all the way up around 179, now trading at 175. Nat gas is still currently below the neckline. So, I mean, even if we look at this chart on Nat gas, not a healthy price action day for Nat Gas. You know, obviously it still has time to potentially firm up. But when you look at this, you know, you were trying to recapture that little neckline and you're you got rejected again, right at that neckline spot. So not healthy. Head and shoulders still could be on watch for a trigger. Looks like they're fading Nat Gas today. So just be mindful. Just be mindful about that. Let's peek back at the Russell. Russell's still a huge, huge move. Bitcoin seeing a little bit more sellers at the moment. Russell still holding up very firmly. Qs are back inside that wedge. So now we run the risk of potentially having a little failed breakout here. Do we come back down to the low end of the range? And do we break down? Remember, we tried breaking down over this time here. And then they brought price action right back above. So now the question is, do we break this key trend line here? That's what I'm watching. I'm just going to change these two. Russell's also coming in just a touch. I'm seeing really heavy price action in Microsoft. Microsoft curling down. Meta's looking heavy. Bitcoin looking a little heavy. Amazon looking heavy. Tesla looking heavy. Apple still trying to push up, but weak on the session. Dollar still trying to firm up and press a little bit higher. Russell's starting to look a little bit heavier in this range. Still putting in higher highs, higher lows on the Russell, so things are still okay. At this point in time, things are still looking okay. Nat gas trying to make a nice bullish reversal back up. So that's looking quite bullish. Bigger sell off coming in the queues. Nice sell off coming into the queues again, guys. That's a pretty decent sized breakdown. Where is it coming from? Microsoft and Amazon predominantly doing the selling at this point. Our QQQ 444 put is now starting to print. It's not in the money yet, but cons are up nicely now, just a touch. Bitcoin still looking slightly heavy. Dollars trying to push for a new high. Not on the day, but a little bit of a new high in this consolidation range. Um, you're shorting that gas for the third time in a row. Nice, nice. Look at the cues. All right, testing that neckline. There's the break, guys. There is the break on the cues. It is looking heavy this go around. So I think that too many people piled in on the short side here. But uh, 444 puts look like they're incoming here, guys. 444 puts. My average on my cons is sitting at 52 cents. They're now trading at 65, 64. Come on, get us in the money and break us down. Remember, the downside target of this breakdown takes you all the way down to 442. So we're riding 444 puts as well as 443 puts. Come on, give us some more downside. You know you want that breakdown. IWM's coming in a little bit hotter simultaneously. So we're seeing all across the board, things are breaking down here. 
So all across the board, things are showing some weakness. Even our 443 puts are now up nicely. That's good. Cons are at 71 cents. Come on, Qs. Get in the money. Flush it. Get in the money and flush it. Qs are down 0.15. Russell's still holding up pretty firmly right now. Dollar pressing higher. Bitcoin struggling now. More sell side pressure coming into Bitcoin. You can see the Russell's trying to firm up just a bit. Qs are finding some support here. But that was a more definitive break on volume of that neckline. So it does now open up the head and shoulders target again, guys. Head and shoulders is on watch. Dixie's still trying to press. Look at Bitcoin, guys. Look at Bitcoin go. All right, those $23 puts on Mara are starting to firm up. $23 puts on Mara starting to firm up. Come on, Qs, give us some more downside. Bitcoin's really starting to sell. So interesting to see MicroStrategy just holding steady here and Bitcoin's now dumping, right? So kind of gave us that little front run signal on the crypto market that MicroStrategy investors kind of knew something. Big players in the MicroStrategy game knew that something was coming. Obviously, the, the short report helped MicroStrategy fall, but it just so happens to come you know, Bitcoin, I think Bitcoin could go negative today. We'll find out if it does. But I think Bitcoin could go negative today. All right, Qs are now back testing this neckline. Let's see if we break above it or break below it. Microsoft down now 0.3, looking heavy. Microsoft is coming down. 419 is your support on Microsoft, 419. So they are trying to take Microsoft down here a little bit. Come on, Qs, break it down, break it down. Qs are trying to stabilize here. Qs are trying to stabilize. Could have the Russell 2000. So the Qs have triggered a head and shoulders. You can see the Russell has a left shoulder ahead and potentially carving out a right shoulder here on the Russell. So I'm watching now. Again, since the Qs have triggered, it makes the Russell more likely to actually trigger one, guys. So definitely watching for that. They're still just keeping the cues elevated here. A little bit of a bear flag forming on both intraday charts of the Russell and the Qs. Qs are trying to get back above that neckline. Let's see if they can. Dollar still trying to push higher, but taking this minor breather. It's now up 0.2% on the session. Qs are down 0.09. Spy slightly green. Russell up 0.92. Yields are all turning red except for the two-year yield. So yields are turning red. So it's interesting to see that the Russell is slowly starting to weaken here as... Uh, yields are starting to turn red. So the Russell has every reason to hold these gains and really test its little breakout here. But uh, if it starts to fail this on the Russell, that's not a positive sign. 
not a positive sign. Again, the Russell is attesting a little bit of a breakout here. So the IWM trying to break out above its 209.86 pivot, and it is looking like it's trying to do so. so. I mean, if we look at where the Russell is on the daily chart, we can see this nice little pivot zone. We're currently above this pivot zone. That's your previous breakout high. So the Russell, if the Russell can hold that, it's bullish. But if the Russell loses that, that becomes a little bit more bearish. I'd be hard pressed to see the Russell selling off that much. You know, imagine the Russell sold off all the way back down to its little breakout pivot here. That would roughly take it basically flat on the session. It's getting bid right back up. Tech is still just holding. Dixie softening just a touch. So again, that's why the Russell's liking. Big push there on the Russell, guys. Big push on the Russell. Bitcoin's still looking heavy. It's still coming in, guys. Bitcoin is still coming in. Now losing 71K. Come on, Q's breakdown, Russell breakdown. Big stick on the Russell. Whoa, look at that monster candle. KRE is up 0.82%, so Russell's acting well. It was interesting as KRE was actually negative briefly during the intraday market session, and now it's holding steady again. Again, uh, anybody that hasn't checked out my tradingcapital.ca website or run a swing trading and day trading service, definitely take it out. A couple of new trades we entered. You know, one was uh, shorting MicroStrategy. We were able to add to our position yesterday around the 1961 level. So that was proved to be a good add. Russell's now potentially triggering a head and shoulders. So this is now on watch for a breakdown. Downside target takes you to about uh, 210, just above 211. If we break the neckline on the Russell, and we're breaking it right now. Q's still coming in. Come on, take it down, take it down. Bear flag potentially triggering along with the head and shoulders. Markets are still acting well, though, so they haven't officially started giving it up yet. You know, you still have the Russell acting firmly. They're still positive on the session. s and still positive. Qs are really the lagging aspect of the market right now. And really the weakness right now is coming from, in this particular moment, um, NVIDIA seeing some weakness in the queues, trying to curl down. Microsoft, weak. Apple, weak. Meta's weak. Tesla's weak. Can they take NVIDIA back to the negative side? Microsoft's negative. Apple's negative. Uh, Meta's negative. Google's negative, Tesla's negative. So really the only things that are holding up the queues at the moment is Amazon, Nvidia, Amazon and Nvidia.
News that Sam Bankman Friedman is sentenced to 25 years for multi billions. Probably going to be in a a uh, white collar prison. Probably gets to play tennis all day, and I doubt he'll be in any sort of maximum security facilities. All right, so Russell's pushing right back up. Again, the Dixie's being faded. So they're pushing the Russell right back up. Oil's still bullishly consolidating. Oil does look like it wants to go higher. They're just keeping the QQQ market range bound at the moment. Range bound price action. Tesla actually looks poised to potentially head a little bit higher here, but obviously if the market's weak, then it's going to struggle. All right, let's see if the Russell can break down here. Q's bear flag, head and shoulders still on watch. I'm still riding 444s. They're up a little bit here, but I'm, I'm trying to squeeze out more from these 444 puts. We're still riding 443 lottos. But they're, they're trying to still just keep this market range bound and, and eat up all of that extra. All right, Russell breaking down here. Head and shoulders on watch from the Russell. Head and shoulders has already triggered on the Q's. So let's see what type of action we get here now. Bitcoin still looking quite heavy. Come on, Russell, give it up. Tesla's firming up, Apple curling down, Meta's still curling down, bleeding and bleeding and bleeding. Bitcoin now starting to see heavier sell side pressure. So Bitcoin's seeing more heavier sell side. Watch for a dump here. Watch for at least another move down to about 70K, that psychological whole number. But Bitcoin's seeing some heavier selling coming in. Let's see if we can get a breakdown. These are just stuck in this range, stuck in this range. Still no confirmation below this neckline. You had that one minute candle break down below and you haven't confirmed the technical breakdown yet. Same thing with the Russell, one minute candle break, looking to confirm that little technical breakdown of this inverse head and shoulder, of this head and shoulders. Cues are still holding up. Cues have lost the 10 minute EMA 113. We've gotten two 10 minute closes below the EMA 113. Right now, you're sitting on the five minute chart at the EMA 113, which is why the markets are holding support here on the cues. SMCI down 1, Tesla down 1.3, Apple down 1.4, Qs are slightly negative, SPY is still slightly green. Look at this range bound market that they're keeping things in right now. Quite extraordinary. Tesla is getting a nice push up. So Tesla is making a nice little push. While Amazon's kind of falling, lagging. Could be a little bit of a pair day trade there. Short Amazon, long Tesla. 
Nvidia is breaking down. So this is where we could get confirmation. I am seeing Nvidia breaking down. So there's the break in the queues. Cons are now printing. Here we go. 444s are coming up into the money here. Q IWM confirming its little breakdown. So we are seeing a little bit of struggling price action in the queues. Come on, queues. Give us those 444s in the money. Come on. I'm still holding, but there's 444s. They just went in the money. I still think we'll get it because we consolidated here bearishly for quite a long time. I still think we're going to get at least a two or three bar surge down. You know, the technical breakdown also was confirmed on the Russell. Next support on the 10 minute chart, I see at 443.69 on the queues. 443.69 is our next little support. Queues are trying to bounce here though. Amazon looking weak. Meta still coming in hot. Come on, Qs, give us the flush. Just start breaking down. Still have oil pushing higher than that gas, trying to catch a bid. Amazon just getting bludgeoned here. It just went negative. So Amazon, look at that nasty topping tail on Amazon. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. So they are trying to bounce the cues here. Seeing NVIDIA looks like it wants to go negative. So NVIDIA does appear like it's going to go negative. Microsoft pretty much looks like it wants to make a new low of day. Microsoft still looking very heavy. Apple trying to firm up. QQQ right back up. Same thing with the Russell right back up. Retesting the neckline on the Russell as we speak.
Wow, what a big push back up in the indices. So Russell's trying to get back above that neckline. Q's are still technically below retesting at EMA on the two minute chart. Amazon still looking heavy. Apple trying to push higher here. Apple, you could argue there's a little bit of an inverse head and shoulders pattern forming on the five minute chart. Uh, Microsoft, you can argue there's a bit of a bear flag. Meta just looking weak. Google, potential bear flag. Amazon just looking weak. Russell, try to recapture that area. Now you could even have a bigger head and shoulders on the Russell, as seen by this neckline. So instant rejection off that first neckline. If we use the second neckline now on the Russell, if we trigger it, then you have another lower downside target, which takes you basically to 211 even. QQQ, still trying to push higher here. Amazon still super, super weak. Apple trying to firm up. And again, a lot of people sold their 444s. That's why you saw a spike in volume right off that 444 level. Nvidia trying to firm up just a bit. Bitcoin bouncing. Really big bounce on the QQQ 10 minute chart. Really big bounce off that 444 level. So Q's are firming up nicely, trying to recapture that little neckline. Bitcoin bounce, dollar faded, dollar did get faded again. There's another breakdown coming in on the Russell, guys. Another little breakdown coming in on the Russell. Again, my two 11s on the Russell are sitting at 17 and a half cents. Currently trading between 23 and 25 is the spread. Still holding my QQQ, had a chance to take in the money profits, but I'm looking for more. I'm kind of being greedy off of this. I still think Q's can retest 443 and maybe even a pierce of 443. Nice little down move coming into the Russell and the Q's now. Q's are also seeing that same sell side. Bitcoin holding up. Much bigger decline in the Russell guys. So two 11s incoming, two 11s are incoming. Nice move down in the Russell and the Qs. It's really happening not even on the back of uh, any sort of dollar or yield breakout. So it's just a pure technical sell-off in the Russell. Imagine the Russell goes negative today. How crazy would that be? Qs are negative, spies flat. So Russell's still up 
0.8% on the session. Very, very firm still. Coming to that EMA 113 on the Russell. Russell continuing to fall here. Come on, can 211 get in the money? Let's give us those 211s. Again, the Russell absolutely needs to hold above this 209.87. If for some reason the Russell has a big sell-off that takes it flat to negative, then we could have a big, big topping tail on the chart of the Russell. And it could indicate yet again another failed breakout. Tesla's still trying to firm up. Uh, Apple's trying to firm up. Apple trying to break out here. Microsoft still looking heavy. But Qs are trying to catch a bit off this zone. Nvidia and Microsoft though, kind of dampening the mood right now. Same thing with Meta, Amazon, Google all curling down. Russell's hitting that EMA 113. Again, Qs have been putting in lower highs today and lower lows. Russell 211s are coming in hot. It's almost a double on the contracts. Beautiful 100% gain as of now if we were to take profits. So 211s are equaling... Yeah, my average is about 17 and a half cents. Cons are trading between 32, 33 cents at the moment. So a nice move down on the Russell. It's a really good decline. Can they get us in the money? Can those 211s print in the money? Almost there, guys. Almost there. There goes the Russell, guys. It's still falling here. Over 110%. Come on, get in the money. 211s. It's almost there. All right, guys. I just exited for over 104% on the Russell. 211 puts. I closed the 211s. Still holding my Qs, still holding my QQQ, but I did close the 211 puts on the Russell. Might take some profits on the Qs just to see because they are trying to firm up here. All right, guys, I just sold my Qs because I am seeing Tesla, Apple, Google all curling back up. So I did take some profits on the Qs. We can always re-enter on another trend. Still holding a Lotto 443 put on the Qs. So that's the Lotto play. But I am looking for another trade setup here. What's the S&P doing right now? Yeah, so I mean, even the S&P looks super, super vulnerable here. It does look like it wants to break down. Again, no real movement in the dollar at the moment. Still just stuck. S&P potentially looking to go negative as itself.
So really sizable bounce there, really sizable bounce in the market. I am seeing Nvidia trying to push back up again. Nvidia has been kind of flagging sideways all day long. Nice little bounce in the Russell. Mare is still coming in hot. Pretty decent sized bounce in the Qs. So you can see the Russell still bleeding lower here, still trying. Still think the Qs could potentially bounce and retest 444.50 up here. I'm seeing it in Microsoft's looking heavy, Nvidia's trying to press, Apple's trying to press. So it's a bit of a mixed bag here. Russell coming lower. Two eleven put on the Russell did go in the money there, guys. So nice job if you were able to take that with us. Another win on the session. Another win on the session. The Russell's probably going to get a bounce really shortly here. Nvidia is still trying to press. Tesla still trying to press higher. Russell still bleeding. Quite extraordinary. Does appear they're gonna bounce the market here just a touch, just a touch. The Russell should get a bounce in and around this vicinity to 10-ish. And I still think the Qs may press up before we take the next leg lower. So if we get it back into this vicinity on the Qs, I think 444 puts again make a lot of sense. If we retest this area. Russell's coming in heavy. This should get a bounce, but it's still looking rather heavy. Our QQQ is firming up. Google, Microsoft, Apple, Tesla, and Video all trying to press a little bit higher at the moment. QQQ has triggered that bearish chart formation. But Qs are notoriously known for potential negating that pattern. Russell's still looking heavy, guys. The Russell is still looking very, very heavy in this range. Can the Qs firm up here? 
Guys, I am seeing Apple. Apple's looking rather bullish. Same thing with Tesla. Tesla's trying to break out of its bear range. Nvidia's almost trying to test a breakout. So watch the cues. They could actually pop, right? You know, they've been getting bared up people here. I mean, it is putting in a bearish pattern. Uh, 210 puts, it could. It could. It's just a little bit more risky. You know, I, I, I ended up taking a loss on my 210s, rolling them into 211s. Good thing I did that because 211s printed over 104 percent two tens could hit but you're probably going to get a bounce here and then you got to wait for a bearish pattern you got to wait for a bit a potential bearish pattern to unfold oil new high of day wow oil is breaking an hourly chart bull flag that's incredible the dollar's not even reacting that's incredible So two tens on the thing. I would be interested. I might look at two tens again myself on the Russell, but I want to wait for a bearish pattern to set up. Mara $23 puts are almost in the money, guys. Mara $23 puts are almost in the money. So watching those carefully. NVIDIA, slight rejection. Microsoft coming down a bit more now. That gas oil still pressing. Tesla still looking quite strong. Still trying to press higher here. And potentially firm up. Microsoft's weighing on the cues at the moment. Same thing with Meta. Nvidia's holding green at the moment. So, I mean, now the big question is on the Russell, do you bounce and form a little right shoulder? And then you could have an even bigger head and shoulders. You could have a left shoulder here, a head. If you form a right shoulder, you could easily hit those two tens. But Russell's been the strongest leading indice today, so it's still trying to hold the majority of its gains. Microsoft coming down a bit more now. Same thing with Amazon, Google, Meta. So Qs could be wanting to break this range right now. We'll see. Still support here. But this little bearish pattern is getting a little bit long in the tooth. I still think there's one more potential retrace based off of what I'm seeing in the mega caps. And then I think we make the leg lower. Again, the Russell's had a nice sell-off. It should hold here. And then make potentially another leg lower. Cues are getting slightly faded here. Slightly faded. Dixie's also weakening, so the Dixie still hasn't really made a definitive move. Microsoft trying to hold 420. Microsoft is trying, but still struggling. Apple, again, has triggered a little inverse head and shoulders bullish pattern on the five-minute chart. NVIDIA looks like it's trying to break a flag pattern. Amazon's catching a bid now. Google's trying to break out. Tesla's trying to push higher. Meta still just floundering. Nice little push on the queues coming in. There's the push, guys, that I was warning of. Let's see if it's got a little bit more gas in the tank. I think it does. Still seeing Microsoft trying to firm up. Google's trying to press. NVIDIA's still trying to press. Amazon's trying to press. Meta's now trying to press. So 
So Qs are still trying to firm up in this range, but it is a bearish range that we're still stuck in. Nvidia got rejected there, slapped right back down. Google's still trying to press, Microsoft's still trying to firm up, Meta trying to firm up. So now this is the type of pattern you want to watch on Russell. It is trying to form a little bit of a bear flag, still very early, but it is trying to form a bear flag. And that's the thing. Are we going to see rotation back out of small caps into the queues? Could be. Could be. Still expect a potential retrace back to at least this EMA, maybe in this vicinity, 444.50 ish. That way they keep it. 444.50 kind of eats away at the premiums on both. The 445 calls and the 444 puts. So you can see how they've kept us in this range, right? You know, they, they gave the 445s an exit. They gave the 444s an exit. And now they're just eating up that premium in this range. All those zero DTEs right now. It's going to break eventually, but the question is when. All right, so NVIDIA is still trying to break out of a flag pattern. Microsoft's still struggling. Apple kind of seeing some sellers in this range. Meta getting rejected again off of its short-term MAs. Bitcoin's coming in just a touch. So Qs are still just trying to come down here, potentially about to break the range. Let's see. Still just range bound. Still range bound. NVIDIA is getting some sellers. Apple seeing some more sellers. So we could break the range. Google's holding. I still think there might be one more push up before we break. Russell's at support now. Matt Gas trying to firm up. Huge volume coming in there on the queues. One minute chart, so a nice spike in volume. Last time we saw that spike in volume was around here and you've got a nice little up move. The question is though, is it gonna be a bearish volume candle or a bullish volume? At this moment in time, it is appearing to be a little bit more bearish. Now it's bullish. So we are getting a spike back up. They are trying to defend this range and eat away at that premium. I mean, look at this range that we've been chopping in since really 12 o'clock for the last hour not giving the bulls not giving the bears much of anything to trade algos are just eating people up at this point uh mara 23 dollar puts are almost in the money yeah that's what it's always about right mike it's always about how much money can market makers extract from market participants? And that's why it's always good to isolate, you know, when you're looking at the Qs and the S&P, right? Most, a lot of people are trading zero DTEs. So, I mean, you want to isolate those ranges, right? People on the call side are at 445. People on the put side are at 444. And really, when you stay in the middle of that range, um, no one's winning, right? Other than market makers. You know, things are just deteriorating, deteriorating. At some point, we're going to get a big break, but it's just a matter of when. That's why options are so dangerous, right? I am seeing Microsoft trying to find a little bit of a bottom here. Still struggling, though. Still struggling. Q 
Hughes again did trigger that head and shoulders, a little bit of a bear flag forming, but you are seeing some potential signs in some of the mega caps that they could bounce it just a little bit higher before they break it down. I mean, we've consolidated here in a bear range for quite a bit and small caps have weakened dollars trying to firm up now. So this could break, you know, very quickly here could break at any moment. I am seeing Bitcoin weakening some more now. Microsoft, Google reversing, Apple selling off. So this is where the break could come into play. NVIDIA is still trying to hold its positive gains up half a percent. But a big fight here between the bulls and the bears and market makers just want to pin this price action here. Really, you know, no one wins when you don't get a range break. Yeah, I've been caught in the middle. I think we've all been caught in zero DTs where it's just not making a move. And then that's why you see some crazy moves in the end of the day, right? Because it's that final liquidity push. They try to push it in the direction where least people are positioned. Cues are just seeing selling after selling, right? But again, Apple has triggered a little bit of a bullish pattern in the five minute. NVIDIA looks a little bit more bullish in this range, trying to break out of a flag pattern that it's been consolidating in. Microsoft, ah, still weak on the session, but the selling is abating in Microsoft. Google, again, trying to push higher. All right, so Qs are trying to press. Same thing with the Russell. Russell's trying to press. Again, I might start loading up on the puts again on the Qs once we retest that little neckline zone. Microsoft curling down, Apple curling up, Google curling down, NVIDIA curling down. Bitcoin's breaking down as well. Look at Bitcoin, guys. And watching those Mara $23 puts still, guys. Bitcoin's seeing some more selling. Bitcoin is seeing more sellers. I have seen it often where Bitcoin sells, they put money flows back into the queues. So I'm watching for that, but we are seeing the Dixie also trying to uh, press higher here. So I still have it priced in that Bitcoin goes negative today. You know, Mare is still up 4.4%. Qs do look like they want to try to break down here. It's really going to come down to what NVIDIA is doing here. NVIDIA is also losing momentum. Microsoft selling, so more pressure coming in on the queues. More pressure coming in. Bitcoin also weakening. Nice, Mike. Thank you. That's great. Yeah, that's it's so manipulated. These markets are manipulated, right? I've been caught in in some crazy situations myself, but if you don't think the markets are designed to take your money, then, you know, it's it's a uh, it's always a risk trading. You know, where our brokerages even trade against us. You know, they that's why sometimes some fills are so horrific. I swear, like I you know what's crazy is I'm actually in a fight with my brokerage. This wasn't a member trade. This was a day trade by myself, but 
basically where I hit market sell on a position, I ended up having the fill. They closed my order 9% lower. Now, it was a small cap stock that I was trading, but it had 50 million shares on the day. So liquid as rainwater. But basically where I sold my position and where at market sell and where they filled me was 9% lower from where I intended to sell it. I lost about $6,000 on the trade. And I have it on my charts that on TradingView, I went to the one second chart and it doesn't even show that price action wicked down to where they sold me. So, you know, it's a frustrating game sometimes, right? Very frustrating. All right, here comes the Russell guys, potential bear flag. So those people still in two tens, uh, those should still play out. QQQ looking a little bit weaker as well. NVIDIA getting walked, walloped, but Microsoft's catching a bid. So just be careful. Just be careful. NVIDIA getting hit hard though. Google, Meta curling down, Microsoft curling up. So let's see which mega cap's gonna win. There goes the Russell guys, there goes the Russell. Yeah, we even went on three different platforms. I went on um, Stock Charts, Trading View, and NASDAQ.com, and I don't even see the price wicking down there. But they're going using the Bloomberg terminal, and it is showing that it wicked down there. But And what's crazy is, I mean, that all happened within one second. They filled me 9%, and then right away, within like two or three seconds, price action was back up to the highs where I intended to sell. So it was really frustrating, really, really frustrating. I did not like that. All right, look at this fall on the Russell 2000, guys. Look at that fall on the Russell. Microsoft firming up, Apple firming up, Amazon trying to firm up. Wow, what crazy price action here. Russell, I should have wish I held my put still. It would have been up tremendously more. QQQ getting a big green stick. All right. Qs are still stuck in this little bearish range, eating up all that premium again. Russell's making a range break to the downside. Guys, I just covered and sold my $23 Mara puts. They went in the money. So nice job on that. Nice job on Mara. So nice few winners. Google's coming in. Yeah, it had a little bit of a down wick. Still looking stronger though compared to some of the other mega caps. Nice big wick energy in the small caps getting defended here. QQQ coming down though. So more selling coming into the queues off this range. There's the there's the potential break. Microsoft, Google looking much heavier now. NVIDIA is still coming in. They're trying to defend the queues as we speak. Now gas pumping up to the high side. So they are appearing to take the cues lower at the moment. The 
Russell's still coming in. Russell did create a bear flag and it is looking weak. Microsoft still coming in. Amazon coming in. Big breakdown in the queues there. Really big breakdown. Massive reversal in the queues there. Really big reversal. So big bounce coming back into the queues. They are trying to firm up. Microsoft pressing. Microsoft, Google, Apple all looking much more bullish at the moment. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Again, QQQ just range bound, stuck in this range. It is looking like Microsoft and Apple want to firm up the queues, but as of now, just stuck in a range. No problem. You're welcome. You're welcome. Glad you guys were able to catch that IWM trade and the queues. And Qs are still trying to bounce here. I'm seeing Apple still trying to press, Google trying to press, seller still stepping in Meta, seller stepping in Nvidia, seller stepping into Amazon. Amazon's got a bit of a bearish pattern. There goes the Qs. Qs are still trying to press. Tagging some near-term resistance at the moment. Dixie still hasn't really done much. Oil still trading at 82.50 a barrel. You know, even with the strength in oil, you would expect the indices to react. You know, it does change. A lot of the company's valuations. I'm even surprised the Dow Jones transports are doing so well today, even with oil being that firm. Quite, quite fascinating. Definitely quite fascinating. Again, this sideways range is going to yield a big move. Technically, the pattern is bearish. Lower highs in the Qs, you are negative, but and the Russell's faded substantially from the highs. The Russell, you can actually see, is putting in this potential head and shoulders pattern here. Another much bigger head and shoulders here on the two-minute chart. You break that neckline, the Russell goes negative today. Could definitely happen. Let's see if the Qs want to flush here. Here comes a potential breakdown in the Qs. Retesting that 444 zone. Another strike zone. Another strike zone. I think once we get potentially a 10 minute close below 444, it opens up the door to 443. Nice move down to the Russell. Look at the Russell coming in now. Nat gas is ripping, soaring here. Nat gas is absolutely flying up 2.3% now. Meta trying to go for new lows. NVIDIA hard rejection down. Semiconductor bear ETF firming up quite nicely. Russell on watch for a much larger breakdown here. So the IWM on watch for a much larger breakdown. Again, this is a lot of bearish consolidation on the queues. A lot. Makes you think a big move down is coming. You are seeing volume though, so buyers are stepping up a little bit. But there's also a lot of sellers in this range that we need to be mindful of.
Come on, give us a flush, cues. You know you want to trigger. Again, the downside target on the cues today, based off of the head and shoulders, takes us all the way down to about for this 443 zone, 442.90. And the way the Russell's actually given up a lot of its gains, you really think that it's going to be likely that the cues head down there. Obviously, there's bounces along the way. Hard selling in NVIDIA at the moment. Russell's hanging on by a thread here. So the Russell 2000 is hanging on by a thread. Dollar's trying to firm up again. So the DXY is trying to firm up yet again. Mare is almost negative. Wish I held those a little longer, but it is what it is. Um, again, that gas looking exceptionally bullish at the moment. Looks like it wants to push higher. Nvidia catching a bounce, Amazon looking heavy, Google looking heavy, uh, Meta trying to bounce here. Again, Qs just don't want to break and really lose this definitive level. They don't want to give us a range break quite yet. NVIDIA is seeing some buyers stepping up. Bitcoin's getting a little bit weaker at the moment. Russell 2000 still putting in bearish consolidation to potentially move lower. You think about that move that the Qs did yesterday late in the session. You know, it almost makes you think, it makes you wonder if they're going to take the cues back down to that low end of that pattern. You know, remember this bear wedge that you were forming on the cues? It looked like you were going to break down here and then they just ramped it up late into the close. Well, maybe they flush us back down to that low end of the ridge. Russell's still continuing lower, guys. The Russell's still continuing lower. nasty little breakdown on the Russell. Qs are still just stuck at this 444 range. So again, we are back inside of this channel that we chopped in yesterday and we're seeing if the cues want to break this channel and test the low end of the range. Bitcoin still weak, breaking below 70K and crypto stocks saw a pretty nice reversal. Apple coming in slightly now. Russell's still bleeding, guys. Russell's still bleeding a little bit. Buyers are trying to buy this area. You've done a nice little retrace. Qs are still negative. Spy slightly negative. Russell's up half a percent. So Russell's given up 50% of the gains that it's had. And you are still seeing more sellers coming into the picture. QQQ now seeing more selling. Are they going to flush the cues? Come on, flush the cues.
Russell's continuing to bleed, guys. Uh, Jay is asking, what do you think NVIDIA, Tesla, and AMD do for the next three months and one month? Well, got to save some material for my members, but members know. Members know. I think we're in a form, you, what you've been noticing lately I'll just give you a hint, right? You've been noticing the S&P and the Russell stronger over the last several trading sessions. What's been the weakest indice Qs? You know, yesterday you had the Qs positive, but Nvidia down two and a half. So semis have been going through a little bit of a distributive phase at the moment. Mega caps are still trying to firm up here. Russell's still bleeding here a little bit. Still think small caps are due for a little bit of a bounce, whether it's in this range. I think we could retest this little neckline zone around 210.80, 210.70, but I mean, you are triggering some pretty bearish moves here in small caps at the moment. But remember, small caps have seen net buying today. They are positive when the other indices are negative.
Dixie's still trying to press higher, which is why small caps have actually reacted pretty poorly off this area. Small caps are still trying to press. Still seeing NVIDIA, Microsoft trying to curl up. They are both trying to firm up. QQQ still stuck in a little bit of a bearish range. Really hasn't made a definitive move higher or lower. The pattern is suggesting lower highs, lower lows, head and shoulders, bearish consolidation. It is suggesting lower price action. Again, downside target is this 443 appears of 443 on the queue, so we'll see if that comes into fruition. Again, I do expect small caps to get a bounce here, retest this 21080 level. So I'm watching that closely. Uh, Bitcoin falling and Doge up 18%. Yeah, I mean, crypto market's still positive, right? You still have strength across crypto. Things are still looking rather bullish. I mean, the total crypto market cap is still up 1.48%, right? So to move the total crypto market cap up by 1.5% versus Doge, a lot smaller amount of liquidity needed to push Doge up. And again, typically you see the high-flying uh, dog shit coins pumping before, you know, you start to see a potential bigger rollover occur. So the Russell is trying to firm up just a touch in this zone. And there's even a chance that Russell can try to retest this channel that it broke down from. You know, that would be the bigger move up to 211. Kind of aligns with your EMA. Kind of aligns with uh, your little bit of a positive divergence here on the Russell. So there could be a slight bit of upside in the Russell. QQQ still just putting in this bearish range at the moment. Oil still firmly higher on the session. Dixie's taking a bit of a breather here. Tesla's weak, Apple softened up. Apple's test retesting the neckline. So if this is a long spot for Apple, this is where you would go long on Apple, right at this 171 range. It is trying to press higher. QQQ just range bound, sitting at 444 at the moment. Maris still up three and a half. 
Tesla down one and a half, Palantir down six, AMD a 0.6, CCL down 3.8, AMC down 15, Canopy growth down two, CLSK down 7.8, Nvidia just slightly green on the session. Russell starting to peel away here. Didn't even make it to a retest of the neckline. Cues are now coming in. Russell's coming in a little bit harder at the moment, just a touch harder. More sellers. Qs are putting in bearish consolidation right underneath that 444 zone. Let's see if we can get a range break to the downside on the Qs. Oil still at the highs of the session. Approaching 130 time frame, guys. 130 time frame. QQQ 10 minute chart. Back inside this channel. It's trying to hold and push higher. Microsoft, Apple trying to catch a bid. Tesla still weak. Google curling down. Bitcoin curling down. Meta curling up. Dollar trading at 104.47, trying to press higher. The two-year yield's actually been quietly marching higher all day long. Gold up one, silver up 0.8. So still seeing strength in the metals. Bitcoin still hanging on. Nat gas up 2.4 percent on the session.
Microsoft is getting a nice bid to the upside. Tesla, Apple trying to firm up, Google still weak, NVIDIA seeing some more sellers. So 130 just passed. We just had a lot of people close all their options, positions, brokerages. So now this is where we could see a big move. Typically after 130, a lot of people are forced to close some of their options, positions. Maybe this is where we get a bigger range break. I mean, just to think about how long we've been chopping in the sideways range, you have broken down to the downside a bit, but really uh, haven't made a definitive move. Again, downside target on the queues is still down here, 442.90, give or take. Come on, Qs, just give it up. Give it up. Get a flush lower so we can get some volatility. No one likes this volatility except for institutions and algorithms. Russell potentially forming another bear flag. Looks like it's just stair-stepping its way down. Russell's only up 0.42% now at the moment. So it's certainly not uh, spy Qs are negative at the moment. Q's are still trying to bounce. Oil going for a new high of day. That should keep putting pressure on the indices. I'm surprised the dollar hasn't actually moved higher despite uh, the strength in oil. All right, big push coming into the Q's. Let's see if it's going to surmount to anything. I mean, Apple, Microsoft are bouncing. Meta is curling up. Uh, Tesla still seeing sellers lagging. Amazon potentially trying to break out of a little intraday bull flag. We'll see. But Microsoft's curling up nicely, so that's helping the cues here. Qs are catching another little bid. The heavy lifting is being done by Meta now, Amazon, Microsoft. Nvidia hasn't really participated just yet. Still seeing Meta trying to curl up. NVIDIA is trying to break out of a little wedge pattern here.
Amazon with a huge stick to the upside. Yeah, it seems like they want to pin us in this range 444.50 to 443.74. Maybe the range will happen, the break will happen at the end of the day, like we've seen. But they are trying to keep us range bound at the moment. Microsoft still curling, Meta still curling. Nvidia tried breaking out there, very close to having a continuation move higher on Nvidia. Amazon, big impulse green candle to the upside. Doesn't mean it has to hold. Oil still charging higher. Oil just is relentless at this point. You know, with oil being that strong, it makes me think that at some point, the dollar is going to have to really press higher here. I'm finding it very hard pressed that the dollar just can't seem to catch a bid. You know, this inflation narrative is going to get out of hand quickly if, if something doesn't suppress oil here. Back to that 444 strike zone on the queues. Oil still gunning for $83 at 8264. And it looks like it's going to test 83 bucks today. The high pivot on oil that was made on March 19th was right just below 83 bucks. It was $82. And actually, it tagged 83. My stand corrected. $83 pretty much to the T. Wow, quite amazing. QQQ still trying to press higher here. But NVIDIA, I'm seeing NVIDIA coming down, Microsoft coming down, Meta finally taking a breather, Google taking a small breather. It's now 143 time frame. And again, the cues have triggered a bearish pattern, but they're trying to firm up and press higher here. Dollar's also trying to break out of a little bit of a five minute bull flag pattern. So you have the Dixie simultaneously trying to firm up here. Again, look at that nice little flag pattern on the Dixie chart. This should break out. the volume on the queues today volume measly 18 million very light very very light Microsoft coming in and video still seeing against Google meta Tesla Apple still trying to curl up but Nvidia just doesn't want to participate I mean it's still green on the session but still just sort of lagging Yep, NVIDIA getting rejected again. You're right. Dixie breaking out here. Let's see if it hits the Qs and the small caps. So Dixie breaking out. Remember, this has been the range that the Dixie's been stuck in, right? All day, pretty much this high pivot range. So if you get above this range on the Dixie, I mean, then your next stop is probably retesting 104.60. That should put pressure on the major indices. It should. Right now, queues are still trying to firm up. Can you believe that? Just seems like they don't want to give this market a red day at all. Spy green, Russell green, oil just made a new high of day. 
Nvidia selling, Google selling, Bitcoin's coming in, Apple still trying to press. Still no real uh, definitive breakout yet on the Qs or the Russell. They're actually starting to come in just a touch. Again, Dixie's pushing, guys. QQQ, you can see the rejection from this trend line. Pivot high to pivot high, pivot high. You're getting slightly rejected. That's why it's a tough area. If you get through that, then your next resistance up here at 444.50, and then obviously your neckline. And it does appear that the Qs are trying to push through this zone. So impressively, the Qs are pushing despite the strength in the dollar. So a little bit of a bull flag break there on the Qs. Let's see if it's a real breakout and it means anything. As of now, it is holding firm and steady. Oil's still pushing. Wow, look at the cues go. Look at the cues go. 10 minute chart resistance sits at 444.38. That's your EMA 113 on the 10 minute chart. Simultaneously, you have the Russell also trying to push up. What a move in the queues, guys. What a move in the queues. Amazon did the heavy lifting there. Same thing with Apple. Again, if we remember, we said that 171 level long on Apple, that, that proved to work out. It's got to be mindful the queues are still negative on the session, although they are trying to firm up. Amazon's pressing higher. Nvidia is trying to firm up as well. Amazon's still pushing. So Q's may, if Nvidia breaks out here, I mean the Q's should potentially rip. Hey, it's common sense. We pretty much um, have completed most of our trades today. I'm writing a 444 QQQ put. And I'm writing a um, I'm writing a 211 put on the Russell. Some people are writing 210s on the Russell, but uh, we caught MicroStrategy today. We caught Mara. We caught QQQ. Uh, what else did we catch, guys? I think there were a couple other people. Q's have triggered still that head and shoulders, but you are trying to get back above this little neckline zone. Your neckline retest is all the way up here at around 444 and a quarter. Russell's given back most of its gains. S&P slightly green. Russell's still up half a percent. Potential little bull flag pattern forming, but the Russell's still looking slightly bearish. Slightly bearish on the Russell, and the Russell has triggered a little bit of a bigger breakdown, but trying to hold on the three minute chart here. Oil's just ripping face. Dollar yields, yields have moved back to the green side today.
So like a little bit of a divergence. You can see the cues are trying to push. Russell's now coming down a little bit more. Russell is the leading indice today. Yeah, Russell was performing well, right? We rode the Russell. That was the other trade. We rode two elevens. Two. Some people are sitting in two tens. Puts. Two ten puts could still hit on the Russell. It would not shock me to see that hit. Looking at the Q, we're just stating right underneath this 10 minute EMA 113. So just stuck under some critical resistance on the 10 minute chart. Russell 2000 coming in just a little bit more. Again, Qs have really tried firming up here through the likes of Apple, Amazon, Meta. Meta had a nice bounce from basically 485 to now 488. Google's trying to push higher. Nvidia still hasn't broken out. Microsoft is firming up, still slightly negative on the session. Nvidia has been seeing some distribution all day. Apple's weak, but triggered a bullish breakout on Apple. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. Amazon's trying to firm up now, but again, Q's the bigger pattern is still technically bearish. So at some point we could run into more sellers. Russell forming a little bit of a bear flag here. Again, the Russell has triggered a head and shoulders, left shoulder, head, right shoulder, neckline broke, retraced to the neckline. You couldn't even make it there and you got rejected. So Russell right now could go negative. Dixie's still just sitting here, consolidating. Microsoft down 0.28, Apple down 1.16, SMCI down 1.13, Tesla down 1.6. Tesla just keeps getting bludgeoned and bludgeoned and bludgeoned. Uh, what else are we seeing here? Two year yield up 1.14, 10 year yield up 0.29, uh, Dixie up 0.17, the UVXY, UVX up 1.88. So you are seeing signs of accumulation in the UVX down here. Energy stocks are absolutely flying today because of oil pushing for about 70 uh, or 83 a barrel. Let's see if the queues want to get rejected. I'm seeing sellers coming into Apple, Google, Meta, Tesla looks weak, Microsoft just holding sideways, Nvidia holding sideways, Apple still trying to press. Again, you lose this little downsloping trend line here, and I do think that we could test the low end of this range again on the queues. You know, again, the head and based off of the head and shoulders pattern, the downside on the queue says 443. Remember that absolute face ripping rally yesterday? Well, maybe they dump us today. NVIDIA is still looking heavy. NVIDIA has had multiple attempts at breaking out. On my 10 minute chart, I can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight attempts at breaking out um, basically today, and it hasn't been able to do so. So that that's a little concerning for the semiconductor complex and the queues. We all know how much weighting NVIDIA has. All right, let's see if this Russell bear flag can break. I'm writing still the 211 puts. Some of you are in 210s. I'm also 444 puts on the queues, as well as a 443 lotto play. Q 
Qs are still trying to hold up here. Bitcoin's got a nice little move. Yeah, there was some news on MicroStrategy. Uh, what was the news? One of the head, uh, Carousel Capital announced a short position on MicroStrategy, so it dumped. So one of the met, one of the viewers put that in there for us. So thank you, I believe. Who was it? Uh, uh, Jazz. So Ram put that in the in the chat for us. So thank you, thank you, thank you. But I mean, it's so, it's interesting to see the dump so hard, right, on MicroStrategy, and nice to see because we're actually swing short and we had put options. I was getting eaten up from a trade that was a while ago. I had 1690 puts on on MicroStrategy, and it was trading almost to 2,000. Say I was down like 95 percent on the trade, and I ended up breaking even so that was nice and then the swing trade position on on uh, mstr is working out really nicely at the moment Qs are still trying to defend this little zone and firm up here i still think we could have a bigger move and i think that bigger move is to the downside but apple trying to firm up here Apple actually trying to trigger another little inverse head and shoulders. It's actually trying on the 10 minute chart, looking like it will. Dixie's fading here. Bitcoin's getting a nice little pop. Google's pushing back up. Uh, Microsoft's trying to firm up as well. QQQ, a little bit of a green stick here to the upside. You know, Qs, you could argue that they're trying to form a little inverted head and shoulders. And really, this would be your neckline break. This is your left shoulder, this is your head, this could be a right shoulder formation. So a few interesting trends to watch. I'm just gonna remove that. Yeah, that would give the cues another bit up to about 445. Interesting, very interesting. We'll see if that works out. Russell trying to push back up. Come on, Qs, just give it. But look at this range we've been stuck in, right? What a range. It's been a tough range, right? Whoops, sorry, don't need to do that. All right, Dixie trying to bounce off support and push. NVIDIA is still looking heavy. Apple looking strong, though. Microsoft trying to curl up. Google pushing up. Meta curling down. Tesla still weak. Amazon curling down. Bitcoin curling up. Apple's hitting the five minute EMA 113. So there's some resistance there. Some resistance. Dixie's trying to push up higher. NVIDIA looking very heavy though. NVIDIA is still struggling here. Still struggling. Now approaching two o'clock time frame. It's only a couple hours left in the session. Nat gas is pushing back up to the highs, so a little bit of a continuation move coming into uh, the energy market. Nat gas is trying to firm up. You can see Nvidia breaking a little bit lower now. I believe the Qs break this little neckline. NVIDIA is still looking heavy, Apple looking strong, Meta coming in, Amazon, Google, seeing a little bit of sellers. But really it's NVIDIA that's uh, hindering this market right now. Which way are they going to break it? Or are they going to keep us pinned here? And 
Nvidia seeing more sellers. Now Microsoft's curling back down, Meta as well. Taking a bit of a breather. Come on, cues. Break lower. Again, look at NVIDIA and really Tesla as well. Tesla just uh, keeps coming lower at this point. Now what's interesting is you're seeing the Q's seeing a little bit of weakness. Russell's just holding steady. Still a potential bear range that is forming on the Russell. Got to watch that closely. Nice little breakdown on the Q's. Again, I still think that there's a chance we can hit this 442.90 zone today. That is the head and shoulders. It's been a struggle, right? It's been just range bound all day. Hasn't been an easy one. And that's all the premium that they're just killing. Nice little move down on the Russell as well. So we are seeing things break down here. Google still remaining firm. Nice breakdown on the Qs there, guys. Big breakdown on the Russell, the Qs. Nice little range break. Now we should go lower. We may get a little bit of a zealous bounce here, but we should go lower because we're finally breaking our downside range. Got a one minute close below these pivots. Let's see if they flush us now. And they're trying to push it right back up. They are trying to bounce the cues just a touch here. Again, a little bit of a bear flag triggering on the Russell. So it's a nice little range break on the Russell. Dixie's still trying to press. Nvidia's still trying to bounce. I'll be surprised if they don't take it lower based off of this sell side bar and what we're seeing in the Russell. I'd be very surprised if they don't take the cues. I mean, Nvidia is trying to bounce here. So you can see that's trying to help the cues. Microsoft's bouncing, trying to insulate the cues, but look at NVIDIA sell side pressure. They're actually going to take NVIDIA negative. They just took NVIDIA negative, guys. So now do they start putting a little bit of bearish sentiment into the semiconductor market? Obviously, we all know how important semis are to the cues. Come on, cues, get to 443, come on. Flush it, Q's just flush us. Microsoft, Apple still holding firm. Meta's trying to get a bounce. It's really the weakness is creeping in from Amazon. Nvidia, look at Nvidia, still going lower. And again, we've seen this scenario where Nvidia lifts the market up by itself. And then when Nvidia starts to sell, I mean, you get some really heavy sell side pressure in the Q's because not only does it affect the Q's, but it affects all the other semiconductors. So the SMH, the SOXX, and just the SMH and SOXX alone are much heavier weighting than, in, than Apple and Microsoft. NACAS new high, yep, NACAS new high of day, good observation, that's for sure. That's looking strong. Come on, Qs, just get us out of this range, flush us down. 
to the low end of this range. The Russell's now only up 0.39%, so it's given back over 60% of the gains today that it's had. So, I mean, really throughout the day it was outperforming everything, and now it's underperforming everything. Still strong on the session, but definitely uh, has given up a lot of the gains that it had. QQQ right back up. Wow, look at that. After a big breakdown on a gap, heavy volume, they're pushing the Qs right back up. Just quite stunning. I mean, look at that push. Holy. Insane. Truly incredible. And that's because so many people piled probably under 443s right down here at the lows. And now look, they're ramping it up. Wow, they're ramping it up. And that gas is just soaring. Q's, wow, look at that fake breakdown. And they just pushed it right back up. Quite incredible that they just want to pin it in this range, this 444 range. Apple's just ripping, Google now ripping, Microsoft ripping. Jeez. Relentless power in the queues. Dixie faded there. Geez, you know, it was up about 10 cents a con there on my QQQ put, and now I'm down. You know, it just shows you how fast these zero DTEs move. Just shows you how fast Google soaring, Meta soaring, Amazon catching a bit, Apple just ripping. So they're facelifting the Qs here. They're giving the QQQ a really big facelift. I mean, look at Apple go. Wow. Look at that astonishing move to the upside. Even Microsoft getting a really big green stick to the upside, trying to take Microsoft positive. Wow, I'm surprised they just absolutely ripped it right back up over this breakdown. That's quite incredible. A little bit upset that I didn't pull my profits, but uh, that's just the name of the game sometimes. Wow, what a rip. Let's erase that. So right back in this range that we've been chopping in since 12 o'clock. Yep, that gas still ripping here up to 180 of 180. Apple taking a little bit of a breather now. Microsoft still pushing, Google still pushing, Amazon still trying to push. Nvidia still trying to see some buyers step into this picture. Again, I mean, if you look at the grand scheme of things, we've been trying to get inside this range and they just don't want to let it go in this bear range. Yep, yeah, Apple did clear the EMA on the five minute chart. It's now above also the 10 minute EMA 113 on the five minute chart, seven cents above it. So you could see some sellers in this range since that is a technical resistance intraday. Meta trying to flag, but seeing some sellers. Amazon's, Amazon's still potentially shaping up a little bit of a bear wedge. Russell still putting in a little bit of a bear flag but it is trying to firm up off the lows here. We're seeing some sellers come back into Microsoft. Heavy volume that just came into the market. They used that rip as a big distribution. Heavy volume, a lot of sellers in that last five minutes. I've seen heavy volume on Microsoft, Google, Meta, Nvidia, so there's a lot of sellers in that little bit of a rally. Well, they pushed it up. There was definitely a lot of sellers that occurred there. We'll see if they want to push it back up. Just right back in our range. Okay. 
Just a big chop fest. Apple still pressing, Google, Microsoft still pressing, Nvidia's trying to push higher as well. Seeing the Dixie still trying to consolidate and move higher. So Dixie really hasn't broken out of this range yet. It's trying. Gobbled right back up there. Amazon's curling, Nvidia curling down, uh, Google curling down, Meta curling down, Microsoft still trying to press, Apple finding some resistance at that 10 minute EMA 113. Still potentially a little bit of a bullish flag pattern intraday on the queues forming here. You know, the queues probably want to retest this neckline, but still a lot of resistance. You can see this range that we've been pinned in. All day, are they going to give us a huge zero DT call push, or are they just trying to rope in more liquidity before they drop this head and shoulders? But again, remember that bearish pattern looked like it was triggering yesterday, and then just right at the end, boom, they just ripped face into the end of the session. So, quite uh, astonishing price action, definitely is. Russell's now falling as the queues are pushing. So people are moving to the mega caps again. It does appear they're trying to take Microsoft positive. That gas above 180 now and climbing. Pretty strong bullish recovery on that gas. That could be the low. We'll have to watch that carefully. It's still not above my critical long level, but that gas making a nice little bullish recovery attempt that could signify potentially a little bit of a trend change. So again, we're going to look. And I mean, if you look at the resource stocks in that gas, they've actually been performing very, very well. Cues are trying to press through this resistance. Dixie's ripping though, guys. The dollar is catching a nice bid now. Look at that bull flag breakout. So once you clear this little pivot here, it's going to be off to the races for the dollar. Surprised to see the indices still performing well in mega cap land. Small caps are kind of responding to it. Mega caps aren't. Microsoft, Apple still trying to press. Nvidia. Still only up 0.2%. Apple's firmed up. It's only down 1% uh, now in the session, so it is trying to firm up. Russell's coming in just a touch more.
Again, imagine they take the Russell negative. How crazy would that be? Q's are still trying to press higher here. Another push on Apple. Dixie still trying to press higher as well as well. I mean, even if we adjust this channel just a little bit to these key pivot zones, pivot to pivot to pivot to pivot, you can see we're just right at this resistance point. This is a big, big level for the cues that it's been teetering on here, support rejected here. Now you're finding some more potential rejection. So this channel is a big, big zone for the cues. You know, everyone was watching this yesterday, it looked bearish, and then it just, they break it down, a little fake breakdown, and then ripped it up you know considering we've been putting in lower highs all day it makes me think that they will potentially try to uh, flush it today they gave it a bull rally yesterday they may flush it today especially if the dollar's firming up here and especially especially since small caps have given up more than you know 70 per 60 percent of their rally today Come on, small caps, break down. Give us a big move. Give us a big move. All right, cues are coming in just a touch, just a touch. Nothing crazy. Selling is Microsoft, Apple, Meta, NVIDIA. Google's still holding up okay, though. So Google's holding. Tilray breakout. So, I mean, what's interesting is Tilray was positive. Canopy growth struggling today. Let's look at the TLRY. Yeah, you can see it's been stair stepping its way up, right? Strong. Marijuana stocks have been strong. Very strong. IWM breaking down a little bit more. QQQ still just holding steady in this range. Dixie still pressing higher here. So the Dixie should hinder these markets throughout the day. You know, the Dixie was just consolidating all day and finally trying to break out of its range. There's new lows, Russell. Breaking this bearish range, could see a lot of sell side pressure now in the Russell coming into the picture. And again, if the Russell's breaking down here, I find it hard pressed that the cues aren't going to follow. So anyone still riding those two tens, get ready, get ready. I'm riding two eleven put on the Russell. I got filled at sixty five cents a con. Right now they're trading at eighty one, eighty cents. Just need the cues to also break down. Dixie's still pushing here, guys. The Dixie's still pushing. Apple, NVIDIA getting rejected. Google's still strong. Amazon curling down. Meta curling down. NVIDIA curling down. Tesla curling down. Net, net, it's definitely negative for the Qs. We're seeing it right back to that 440 strike zone. We're approaching the final hour and 40 minutes of trading. Again, can they take the Russell negative? That would be pretty intense. Catching a small minor bounce here.
Bitcoin's still trying to test 71K. So that's still holding up. Now you could argue there's a little bit of a micro inverse head and shoulders on the cues. You get above this neckline and it should push us to about this neckline, but we'll see. Still putting in lower lows, lower highs in the cues. Cues are still down. Dollar's still trying to push higher here, but taking a little bit of a breather. You can see how the markets respond every time the dollar falls. Green stick, green stick. Google ripping positive on the session again. So Google just went positive. That's helping the cues. Video is still struggling. Russell struggling in this range. And the Russell daily chart, I mean, putting in potentially a little bit of a nasty reversal coming into the picture here. Crazy, they're still trying to firm up these cues. And that gas is still continuing to push higher, guys. So nice, nice uh, signs for that gas. IBM also on that big base breakout, but got to go away back to 2013. Wanted to keep an eye on. Thank you. We'll keep an eye on IBM for sure. All right. Let's see if they flush these cues, guys. Let's see if they flush it. Again, still waiting for this head and shoulders to trigger, or it has triggered. Still waiting for it to play out. Remember that downside target is all the way back down to here, 442.93-ish. Russell still wanting to go lower. Look at the Dixie right back up. So we're in the scenario now where the markets are kind of responding almost tick for tick for the dollar. You know, dollar goes back up. You're seeing the Russell weaken. Nvidia is still really struggling here. It's almost going negative. Amazon's curling down. Google's still pumping. Apple's still pumping higher. Tesla trying to put in a little bit of a bottom. Meta curling down. Oil just made a new high of day. Come on, break the cues down here. That would be nice.
but just pinned, pinned since 12 o'clock in this range. Net gas now at 181 and printing up 4.19%. So beautiful move. Anyone that caught net gas, good job. That's a nice slam dunk trade. It's a beautiful little trade. You can see it's a fight at this EMA113 for the Qs. It's a really big fight. Meta's coming back down some more. Google's seeing some sellers. Apple's still pressing higher. Nvidia's trying to push. Microsoft stuck under the five minute EMA 113. Um, Nvidia is actually potentially putting in a bear flag on the five minute chart, three minute chart, two minute chart, whichever small time frame you want to use. It is looking a little bit bearish at this point. Nice little potential breakdown coming into the Russell. There's heavy volume in this candle. So there is some signs of accumulation, but just recognize that it's still bearish. It's only up 0.34% now. Qs are trying to get a big bid, so Nvidia got a nice buy. Volume is starting to increase. Seeing some volume trends increasing. Apple, Nvidia, Q's, Russell's getting some more volume. All right, Qs are trying another attempt at a breakout. Qs are trying. Dollars fading just a touch there. Oil new high. Apple still pushing higher, meta curling down, Amazon weak, weaker. Small caps getting another push. Now gas coming in, getting rejected off 181. Dixie still putting in bullish consolidation. It does look like it wants to press higher. You're above these previous little double top resistance. So I mean, next stop for the Dixie is probably 10460-ish. We haven't really seen the markets react to the stronger dollar. We have not seen that at all. We haven't even seen Bitcoin react. We haven't even seen gold react. Small caps haven't reacted. So nothing's really reacted yet.
All right, Microsoft, a little bit of reversal off that uh, EMA113. So it is seeing some more sellers. So This little bear flag seems like it wants to break down on the Russell, but it's still hanging on there. It's still hanging on. Two thirty time frame, guys. We've still just been stuck in this range since twelve o'clock. Nvidia now pushing up, Microsoft pushing down, Google running into some sellers, Meta curling down, Tesla trying to curl up, Apple still holding near the highs. Dixie trying to break out yet again. Let's see if it hinders the Russell. As of now, the Qs are still trying to rally with the Dixie. Bitcoin still trying to get above 71K, but finding a little bit of resistance. Yep, Q's and Dixie are holding hands. That's right. That's right. Microsoft big reversal engulfing the last uh, five minute in bearish engulfing candle on Microsoft. Seeing more downside on MSFT, but Apple's pushing, Google's still pressing, Meta's trying to push, Nvidia's trying to firm up as well. Russell small caps are trying to take advantage of this little bit of weakness in the Dixie. Really still looks like a bear flag forming on the Russell. Even the Russell five minute chart still looking rather bearish. Although trying to hold support here on the three minute chart, finding some sellers again. But what's really crazy is this range that we've been stuck in on the queues. Which means that there's a whole lot of 445 calls and there's a whole lot of 443 puts. That's basically what that means. The fact that they're just keeping us here. There's a whole lot of calls up here and there's a whole lot of puts down here. See the volume is definitely increasing in the Russell down here. Volume is definitely, which is showing that there is some accumulation in this range.
Tesla coming down. Apple, Google still charging higher. Microsoft taking a breather. Dixie taking a little bit of a breather. Bitcoin's starting to curl down, Meta curling down, Google's still pressing, Apple's still pressing, Tesla's still weak, pushing down, NVIDIA trying to push up, Amazon trying to push up. Seeing weakness creeping back into Microsoft and NVIDIA. Seeing a nice little push in the Russell there. Qs are weakening just a touch. Tesla's going for new lows. Guys, I just covered my 211 Russell put. Eight cents per con. Still riding 444 put on the Qs. All right, so they may try to now flush the cues here. Last hour and 20 minutes of trading. Come on, flush it.
All right, more weakness creeping into NVIDIA, Microsoft, Amazon, Google. Apple's really the one that's staying firm at the moment. There we go, 444s are now moving nicely. Russell still putting bearish consolidation. 210 still look okay. They look like they're probably going to hit. Dixie hitting support here. You can see a nice perfect clinical check back. Apple starting to come in. Microsoft seeing more heavy selling. Amazon also breaking down. Still a bear flag on NVIDIA. If that breaks, you know, you could see a flush down into the late session here down to basically 899 again on NVIDIA. Microsoft looking pretty heavy. Russell again looking heavy. Q still keep coming lower. Let's see how much they can actually dump this. Still seeing heaviness in the queues, guys. NVIDIA could be triggering a bear flag here, which is really going to send this market much, much lower. And we've tested this support once, got a really big bounce. Likely means we're going to pierce through it. Downside target is still 443. Remember, guys, downside target is still 443. Come on, flush it. NVIDIA catching a bounce, minor bounce, Tesla still heavy, Microsoft still heavy, Google heavy, Amazon very heavy. Even the Russell's coming in sharply now. bouncing it they're trying to bounce it still seeing nvidia showing signs of potentially going lower it is negative on the session yet again just briefly went negative there dixie's still trying to pop higher here again we've just been stuck in this little bit of a bearish range on the cues you haven't officially been able to break lower here we've just been putting in this Bearish consolidation. NVIDIA. All right, take a look at NVIDIA, guys. So NVIDIA is about to trigger a little bit of a bear flag. A little bit of a five-minute bear flag there. You can see if you clear this low pivot, you're going to go sub 900. Watch for that. Cues are still coming lower. Bitcoin's curling down. Microsoft's still looking heavy. NVIDIA about to test this bear flag. We'll see if it wants to break it. We are finding some support here. A little bit of a previous reversal zone. Cues are trying to push right back up. Apple holding the 10 minute EMA 113. Tesla still going for lows. Google curling down. Nvidia is bouncing here, so no bear flag has triggered just yet. Russell still looking weak. 
gone for five minutes and you miss the flush there yeah I mean that's just the way it goes right it's pretty crazy pretty crazy price action look at the cues right back up still stuck in this range quite extraordinary quite extraordinary Amazon, huge reversal on Amazon. Bitcoin's coming in sharp blue now. So Bitcoin's seeing some pretty hefty weakness at the moment. A big hard candle down. Amazon, a hard green candle up. Tesla's still looking bearish. Microsoft caught a really big bid. NVIDIA is still just struggling in this range. So it is under a little bit of distribution. But uh, can we break this range today? That's what I'm watching. You know, is NVIDIA going to break this little bit of a range? That's what should start to cause the cues to flush lower. But as of now, they're holding firm. We got a really big green reversal in the five minute Amazon chart. Monster, monster reversal. Quite extraordinary. Just like we did here, big reversal, flush, big reversal. It's like they just want to keep this market pinned. They don't want to take it to 443, and it seems that they don't want to take it to 445 just yet. Big bounce in NVIDIA coming in. Qs are still bouncing pretty hard here. Final hour and 12 minutes. We're right back to the same range that we started in at 12. So it looked like we we're getting a break and they've saved it. Amazon, Google ripping here. They are absolutely ripping. Bitcoin being sold into. Oil's taking a breather. Russell's catching a bid. But Google, Amazon, Microsoft are just running here. Tesla's still weak. NVIDIA kind of struggling. Apple's still pushing. But wow. The strength in, in Google, Amazon off of that bid was just incredible. Nvidia is trying to push up. Microsoft still looking firm. Bitcoin's trying to dump here, guys, triggering a five minute potential, 10 minute head and shoulders pattern on Bitcoin. It's about to trigger. Dixie's still breaking out to the hive day. So I'm very shocked that the indices are still pushing here when the Dixie is still surging. So I find that very intriguing. Bitcoin's now responding to the dollar pushing higher here. Q's aren't. Russell's not really responding. Look at this Dixie surge, guys. That's going to result in... Uh, that should result in the indices selling a little bit. Again, Bitcoin's responding. VIX is still positive. Let's see the queues trying to get above this resistance trend line again for one, two, the third attempt now. Third little attempt. But miraculously, they're holding firm. I am seeing Meta taking a bit of a breather. Same thing with Amazon. Tesla still grinding lower, putting new lows on the session. Well, going for new lows, almost going for new lows. It's just been a continuous sell side program in Tesla. Quite extraordinary. 
Look at this Dixie, guys. Now up on the session 0.25%. And SPY is still green. Russell still green. Q's just slightly negative. Slightly negative on the Q's. But they're clearly pinning this market in this range to have the 443s and the 445s pretty much expire worthless. So there must be a lot of flow and volume in and around these two regions. Wow, look at this monster push in the Dixie, guys. Whew. I still think there could be a late flush in the market. We saw a late pump yesterday in the last 30, 40 minutes. Will they flush it? I mean, look at this Dixie chart. Markets aren't even responding. This is crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So Qs are actually trying to press higher and break out. I'm seeing now Microsoft coming in a bit, Google, Amazon, Bitcoin still dumping. Bitcoin is still dumping. Tesla is trying to find some buyers off the 176 level. Nvidia curling back down. Still in a little bit of a bearish pattern here, but trying to firm up with the Qs. Look at the Russell. Russell's pushing up. Whoa, big push there on the Qs. Big spike there on the Qs. Let's see if that was just to trigger some stops or if it's actually a meaningful breakout. Tesla is going for low of day. Meta is still curling down. Google is still curling down. Nvidia is trying to press higher here. Apple is still holding steady. Just under 172. Microsoft finding some sellers at that 5 minute EMA 113. Again, Nvidia is trying to stay in this range and push. Look at this, they are trying to push the cues and break it out despite the strength in the dollar. Quite amazing, quite amazing. Bitcoin's dumping here, Google pressing, Microsoft, Apple still pressing, Tesla's lagging. Tesla's definitely lagging. Nvidia is starting to weaken. Russell's still pushing up. Big surge in the Russell there. Bitcoin still dumping. Dollar still pressing. Tesla at the near the lows. Nvidia is still coming in just a touch. Apple's still trying to firm up. Google's still pressing near the highs. Still seeing the cues press here. They are trying to break out of this little bit of a channel. This range here at the high end of this channel, they are trying to break out. Russell's had a really astonishing move. Amazon's curling in. Tesla's still weak. Nvidia's trying to firm up. So between Apple, Microsoft, and Nvidia firming here, and Google, we are seeing the queues press here. Look at this pressing action in the queues. Monster surge late into the session yet again.
is this move too early or is this going to get met with some sellers as of now it's a strong breakout looks like you want to retest the neckline heavy volume in this region russell moved up nicely Tesla's not catching a bid. Microsoft almost going positive here, Microsoft. Window dressing, yep, could be window dressing, absolutely. Could be. You know, they teeter the cues on negative territory all day, and then they pump it into the final close, maybe. Again, we're still underneath the neckline of the cues. So we're still technically underneath this little resistance neckline. We haven't officially had a retrace, but it is looking like they're trying to press the cues higher here into the close. Wow, what a push. Look at this push that is coming into play, guys. Monster surge in NVIDIA. Monster surge in Google, Microsoft, Apple. Everything got a huge surge there. Huge surge. Question is, can it hold? Did they use the nitrous too early? You know, there's still an hour of trading left. You're now retesting the neckline of that head and shoulders. They are trying to negate it here. Monster pushing the Russell, NVIDIA is still going. Google, Meta, Amazon, Mega Cap Tech Land is just invincible at the moment. So in seven minutes, we broke the range that we were trading in since really 12 o'clock. So a, a clinical retest to the neckline. does appear they're trying to still press it firmly higher. Microsoft still pumping, Google, Apple still pumping up. Apple's hitting 20 minute chart resistance. Microsoft is hitting a, a no real resistance yet on Microsoft. 10 minute chart resistance is a bit higher. Russell's surging and flying here. Google's still really, really firm. Google seems to be wanting to go and test 152 we'll see though we'll see still trying to push the cues higher here trading at 445 now what a monster surge see on this 10 minute chart of the cues now we're hitting this resistance this down sloping resistance is your next trend line of resistance qqq is positive on the session spy green russell green all indices green just like that it looked like we we're teetering on bank of bearish pattern all day and they rip it right back up Quite extraordinary price action. Now there's still an hour left in the session. Still an hour left. As of now, it does look like they're holding it steady and trying to keep this momentum. NVIDIA's gone green. Apple's still negative. Microsoft's about to go green. 
So they are about to close Microsoft Green here. New highs there on the queues. NVIDIA's pumping here. Volume is definitely heavy in this region, but they're still pushing. They're still pushing this market higher. Again, just as fast as they take it up, they can rip it right back down. Usually you only see that big squeeze in the final like 30 minutes, 20, 30 minutes. So have they waved the magic wand too early? Uh, my shield of gold and gas are defending against the force of evil institutions. That's funny. Yeah, there are evil institutions. There absolutely is. So, I mean, all day, 445 calls were struggling, and now they printed into the final close there. So that would have been a monster zero DTE play that probably a lot of people did take. NVIDIA is still trying to firm up. Apple still holding steady. Google, new high of day. Yeah, it's a little bit early, it seems. <clears throat> it's a little bit early. Makes me wonder if they're going to try to take it back down to that range that we were sitting in. Could be, right? You're seeing Microsoft reverse. Again, Microsoft's been weak all day. Just caught that last little minute, five minute little pop into the end of the day. NVIDIA is still trying to hold steady here. You can see NVIDIA trying to get above that previous little breakout zone again and getting slightly rejected, just ever so slightly for now. All right, so they are peeling the cues back a little bit here. So, I mean, was that like a little bit of a rope and dope liquidity event where they grab it on the way up, get people bulled up? People probably thinking they were going to get more. 446 calls probably came in. And now they're actually reversing it pretty sharply here. So let's just see how far they want to take this down. Again, it's been in a bearish environment all day and it's it's one of the reasons it's hard to chase price action right now you're retesting the larger channel of support so there is some support here if we look at that five minute chart just back to the high end of that chart so i mean arguably your breakout back test is down here again around 444 you pretty much still have that head and shoulders intact you just got to retrace to the neckline and reject it there so the head and shoulders is still technically in play. How crazy would it be is if they actually play this head and shoulders out? Downside target would be 443 still, just a pierce of 443. Very peculiar price action. <clears throat> Very peculiar. But it's almost like that big bullish move happened too soon. Now, I mean, it could push up again and retest the highs, but... This is where you get people starting to chase the calls now because you had that big bullish move break out out of this little bit of a range all day. And there's likely a lot of liquidity people piling on the long side. So do institutions trim a little bit here or do they keep ramping it up into the close? Microsoft had a decent size reversal. 
Google's still strong. Amazon had a decent reversal. Nvidia, you can see here, had a decent reversal just back at the top of its range. Russell had a big pop. So again, they're still just pinning the cues here. Nvidia coming in. Apple now weak. Tesla never participated in that rally. Oddly enough, no, no strength in Tesla. So there's some more sell side pressure coming into the market. Again, you still have the Dixie at the high of the day. Or sorry, the highs of, not the day actually. The highs of the opening market session. So Dixie's still high, and they are taking the cues down a little bit here. Nasty little reversal so far in NVIDIA. All you've done now is backtest the EMA113. Let's see if, uh, if it wants to push above that zone. Russell's coming in sharper. Dixie's still at the highs. NVIDIA's falling here. Apple's still holding firm. Google's putting in a bit of reversal. Meta's still holding sideways chop. NACAS did get faded. It's back underneath your neckline. So not a not good for NAC. Even though NACAS is positive, it got rejected there pretty sharply. All right, so more calls are probably hitting the tape here. Trying to hold that EMA. Cues are still in this channel, right at the high of the channel. even hit that 10 minute chart EMA 113 so still holding that bullish sentiment as of now Tesla at the lows Meta curling up Amazon holding on Nvidia trying to bounce but still seeing sellers Apple trying to hold steady Microsoft potentially trying to push back to 421 got to watch it for a little minor bear flag Again, Google still holding steady. Cues are pushing right back up. So strength coming back into mega cap tech. Again, you're seeing mega cap tech. Yeah, there's lots of volume coming in. 445 calls. Yeah, there is tons of volume there. Tesla still can't catch a bid. Just been in a relentless sell side program. 
Relentless sell side program. So again, what's interesting about the queues is this is your high pivot on the day and you're still putting in technically lower highs. Still technically putting in lower highs. Even with that big late day surge. Dixie's still near the highs. Dixie's still firm. Google trying to catch another bid. There's potentially a bear flag setting up on Microsoft. It looks like it wants to head a little bit lower. Again, it's month end, so quarter end, month end. Google's coming in a little bit sharper now. Meta's pushing up. Amazon curling down. Tesla still just can't catch any bid. Just exceptionally weak. NVIDIA is trying to curl up. That'll help the queues. Apple now curling down. Google pushing right back up. Still crazy, crazy price action. Oil's taking a bit of a breather. Dixie's still trying to press higher. Cues are still running here. They are trying to continue to build potentially a higher low. Still lower highs, but potentially trying to firm up. Google still softening, Meta curling up, Amazon trying to curl. Tesla still can't catch a bid, trading at 186, sorry, 176, 176 on Tesla. Microsoft still slightly negative, SMCI, Tesla negative, Apple negative, Q's slightly negative. Spy green by 0.18%. Russell 2000 up 0.47. Dixie up 0.25. VIX is catching a bid. Gold and silver ripping here. SOXX. So net net semiconductors are down on the session. You are seeing SOXX green today. All right, more sell side pressure coming into the queues. Let's see. Nvidia falling a little bit sharper now. Microsoft trying to press, Apple trying to catch a bid. Tesla still just going through a relentless sell side program. So they're trying to hold Microsoft almost to that positive territory. They are trying to push Microsoft back to the positive side, it seems. So volume coming in again. 45 minutes left. Yep, 45 minutes left. Again, to think this move just happened over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 19 minute rally. Now you're going through a little bit of a consolidation. So this power move from 443.70 all the way up to the 445 zone. Happened in 19 minutes. So 
So the question is, do we hold it? As of now, it is looking like you are trying to. I still see the Dixie surging. So that's a little bit concerning, but obviously the Qs haven't really responded to this, the dollar at all. Apple seeing some sellers, Meta is still okay, Amazon curling, Tesla trying to catch a small minor bid here, Google trading at 151, Apple, Microsoft, SMCI, Tesla still down on the session, you have Meta also negative, Arm is negative, Google, Amazon positive on the session, Russell's definitely leading the charge, Bitcoin still up 1.9%. Uh, 1.9% move on Bitcoin is still fairly impressive on the session, despite how strong the dollar has been today. Assets are just not responding to the Dixie. They really don't think the Dixie is meaningful at this point. NVIDIA is now curling up as well. Another push higher in NVIDIA. You can see NVIDIA is trying to break out again of this little down sloping trend line. Had an attempt at a breakout here, got rejected. It is trying to firm up again now, so that's going to help the queues. Heavy volume coming in on Microsoft as well. You have Google falling just a touch. Queues are still pushing. Big surge on NVIDIA, it's up now half a percent, final 40 minutes of trading. Still stuck underneath this neckline. NVIDIA is still trying to press higher. Qs are now pinned at just underneath 445. Meta is curling back down. Apple, Microsoft also trying to curl back down. Huge spike there in NVIDIA. Heavy volume coming in. Microsoft's trying to press higher here. Still no bid in Tesla. Meta catching a bid. Google still trying to press. Amazon or Apple's just sideways at the moment. Still holding firm though. Still holding firm. S&P up 0.2. Russell up 0.4. Q's are just slightly green. Up on the session by six cents. Six cents on the Q's. Yeah, NVIDIA is being helped by BTC. It's trying to make another push for 71K BTC. Dixie is still at the highs, guys. So Dixie is still charging to the highs of the session. Quite extraordinary. And again, Mega Cap Tech doesn't really care. Does not really care at this point. So I mean, a huge breakout on the DXY. 
and indices are still responding positively, still trying to press higher. So I find that quite extraordinary. Market, there's a lot of market dynamics and correlations that um, have been breaking lately. And that's telling us that something, something in the market is brewing. You know, when, when typically assets break strong high degree correlations, something, some market dynamic is changing underneath the surface. And I don't know what that is at this point in time, but again, assets are not responding to the Dixie. Oil is not even responding to the Dixie. Gold and silver aren't even responding to the Dixie. Bitcoin not responding to the Dixie. So perhaps, you know, the new inflation target, obviously the Fed's inflation target is still 2%, but perhaps market participants are saying, you know what, that's never going to be achieved. Now it's 3%. So maybe it moves up that critical tightening range on the dollar from 104 to say 105 or 106. That could happen. Microsoft still holding steady. It'd be nice if they gave a pump and then a dump. Nvidia starting to try to get back below these key little resistance zone. So Nvidia is seeing some more sellers. Microsoft curling back down. Apple's catching a big bid again. Amazon still chopping sideways. Google trying to press. One rate cut just before elections. Dixie QQQ. Yep. Nice push in Microsoft again, big stick, big stick to the upside. Microsoft is still slightly negative on the session, slightly negative. So there's still sellers in Microsoft today, although they are trying to take it green, it appears. Final 36 minutes of trading and the queues are looking to press a bit higher here. Microsoft's trying to push Meta, Google, Tesla still weak. Nvidia is trying here. Nvidia is at some near-term resistance, but it's trying to hold this area. But Microsoft's pushing itself higher and lifting the queues. Nvidia is coming in a little bit heavier now. Apple seeing some more sellers. Google, Meta, Amazon still acting okay. Tesla just not doing anything, holding 176 for the last 30 minutes. Even with this big spike in the queues, Tesla did nothing. So not a good sign for Tesla at the moment. You finally looked at the waiting for the Dixie. 
What did you discover? <clears throat> Huge volume coming into Microsoft in this region. Really big volume. Microsoft's ripping here. <clears throat> Absolute face ripper on Microsoft, lifting the queues single handedly. Apple, too. Apple going, or Microsoft going green there. So the weightings, <clears throat> a little bit of due diligence done here by um, It's Common Sense, the weightings of the DXY basket, uh, Euro 57.6% weighting, the Japanese Yen 13.6, the Pound 11.9, Canadian Dollar 9.1, Swedish Krona 4.2, Swiss Franc 3.6. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, the, the, the Euro is definitely the biggest weighting, and then the Japanese Yen. But definitely that euro, we've seen that euro influence the markets several times before. Potential double top, still a lower high on the queues. Still a lower high on the queues. You haven't officially, NVIDIA, seeing more sellers as well. Microsoft is trying to lift things. Tesla is going for new lows on the session. A little more selling coming into Meta. Apple still trying to be firming up here. Russell 2000 trading at 210.43 and hasn't had as big of a push as the Qs did. Apple still trying to move higher here. Microsoft trying to push. Google coming in. Meta coming in. Nvidia still coming in sharply. Queues are still trying to press here. Insane price action in the queues. The resiliency is uh, amazing to see. Amazing to see the resiliency in the QQQ market here. Tesla still at the lows. Apple pressing. Meta pressing. QQQ going for a new high here. Well, not a new high of day, but potentially trying to break this neckline zone. And it is looking and appearing like it's going to do so successfully. So Qs are still holding up despite Microsoft coming in just a touch, Nvidia coming in, Tesla coming in, Amazon coming in just a touch.
Go figure. I mean, look at how far the Qs are off of their lows from this rally. And then you look at NVIDIA. NVIDIA is almost testing that downward range again. If it wasn't for Apple's strength, Google's strength, you know, cues are back to the negative side, just slightly negative. But they are trying to hold it positive here. Yen hit a 34 year low on Wednesday. I read that Japan might interfere and could go, could have a negative impact on the dollar. Yeah, I mean, the, the Japanese, the BOJ, right, did that surprise rate hike. Obviously, what was interesting is the dollar still rallied off of that rate hike. Typically, when a currency, a country strengthens their currency, <clears throat> you see it, you see it uh, hurt the dollar, but it didn't really affect the dollar at all. So I found that kind of interesting. A little bit of sell side pressure. Tesla, new low of day on Tesla. Apple's coming in just a touch. They're still trying to keep the cues above this 448.4 area, 444 mid high 444s. But Tesla's just being taken to the woodshed. All right, they're pumping Microsoft back up. Nvidia catching a big wick. Meta's still looking and struggling in this range. It's been weak all day. Microsoft has been weak all day, except really they firmed it up here into the close. NVIDIA is slightly green still, but only up by 0.23%. So, I mean, you have underperformance in Tesla, Apple, Microsoft today, Meta, outperformance in Google, Amazon. So again, they're trying to pin Microsoft green here in this range. Heavy volume in this range. They are trying to pin Microsoft green. Russell had a pretty big dump and then a big bid back up. Dixie's taking a small little breather. NVIDIA coming back down again. Amazon pressing back up. Meta curling down. Apple pressing. Amazon's looking like it's going to get a... Nice green shoot, as long as uh, the cues remain firm. But Nvidia is still coming in. All sectors green today, except for XLY and XLK, just slightly negative. XLK down two cents. It's in line with the Qs. Qs are actually up two cents. Again, XLK is more heavily dominated in Microsoft, which is why it's actually negative with Microsoft. Final 25 minutes of trading, guys. 25 minutes of trading. NVIDIA is trying to push up. Dogecoin has been impressive over the past few days. Yep. Yep. I mean, look where crypto is, right? You have Bitcoin trading at all-time highs, near the all-time highs. So it's been uh, very firm, very firm. <clears throat> They are just trying to keep the markets pinned here. Microsoft still slightly negative, Apple negative, SMCI, Tesla down. They firmed up the semiconductor complex though. The SOXX is flat, flat at the moment. Meta curling back down, Apple curling back down now, Google curling back down, Tesla at the lows again. Tesla down 2.38, so clearly still a tremendous amount of weakness in 
in Tesla. Investors are not liking that EV money. Trying to firm up the two big boys here, Microsoft and NVIDIA. They are trying to press it higher. Still seeing weakness in Tesla creeping in more and more. Apple's now curling down, potentially retesting 172. See, you're just testing the top of this channel again on the cues, right back to the top of that channel. Pretty amazing. Nvidia still has potentially a bear flag that could break down. All right, QQQ being sold into just a touch more, just a touch more. And the selling is coming from Meta, Google right now, Apple, Nvidia, Microsoft still just hovering here. Imagine the final 20 minutes here, they take it down to that head and shoulders target of a Pierce of 443. How crazy would that be? That would be absolutely insane. But again, still a lower high. This is your high of day. Lower high, lower high. Do we make a lower low? You are seeing it come in sharply now. A little bit sharper on the cues. Final few minutes here, 20 minutes or so. Nvidia potentially wanting to break down here, catching a little bit of buyers. Microsoft pushing right back up. Tesla still breaching 176 and falling on Tesla. Nvidia getting absolutely hit hard here. Again, you break this range here on NVIDIA, you could flush below 900. But again, they're just keeping this market pinned in a range at the moment. Microsoft, they're trying to hold just flat to negative. Amazon's curling down. Meta curling down. Google's curling down again. Apple's holding steady around 172. see that two minute chart support that EMA 113 has held you quite nicely you know you reject it all day here now you're bouncing bouncing again and they seem to be wanting to push the cues right back up Eight ninety five to nine fifteen range. Yeah, it's a big range on Nvidia. Big big range. Really big bounce in the queues. The Russell's actually going lower, interestingly enough. Russell's not really participating in that bounce. Meta is still curling down, Microsoft, Apple pushing, Nvidia pushing, that's enough to lift the queues, those three stocks alone. Doesn't really matter what anything else does, but Meta curling down, Google trying to push, Amazon trying to push, Bitcoin trying to recapture 71K. 
more sell side pressure coming into Microsoft one minute chart Nvidia is trying to hold this low consolidation zone but still seeing heavy heavy sellers Microsoft coming in Meta also curling down All right, NVIDIA is breaching here, guys. Look at NVIDIA going for new lows, potentially new lows. Let's see if they want to break NVIDIA into the close here. Final 18 minutes. Microsoft coming in. Meta is still falling. Google still holding up okay, but coming in just a touch. They're trying to hold NVIDIA here. A lot of buy the dippers still trying to bottom pick NVIDIA. Russell's at the lows, so the IWM is near the low of its day. And they're keeping Microsoft buoyant in this range. But they're dragging Meta, th Meta through the mud, dragging Tesla through the mud, trying to keep Apple pinned here. NVIDIA right now just slightly green. It looks like it might go negative on the session. They're trying to pin the market again. 17 minutes left. You've put in lower highs on the QQQ chart. So technically, even though the Qs, I mean, the Qs did go positive, the Qs technically are still in a downtrend today by forming lower highs. NVIDIA coming in a little bit sharper now. Big bounce there in Microsoft. Tesla's trying to hit support at 175.50. Meta keeps falling. Amazon curling down. Nvidia trying to find some buying support here in the range. Apple still holding steady above 172. You can see the queues are sitting right on that EMA 113, which you've tagged once, twice, now a third time. All right, big pump up in the queue volume. Nvidia is getting some volume. Are they giving this market another zero DTE push? Amazon's breaking down a little bit. Apple curling down, Google curling down, Meta trying to curl up, Nvidia, Microsoft trying to catch a bid. Final 15 minutes of trading. Russell's near the lows again, so the Russell has come in quite sharply. Amazon falling, Apple getting hit hard now. So Apple's getting hit really hard. So I do anticipate the queues potentially losing the support. Pretty wild that they're still holding with a big down candle in Apple, Amazon, Google now coming in.
QQQ still trying to hold this EMA, but you're seeing some pretty harsh selling coming into Apple and Microsoft. Amazon, huge down candle on the five minute chart. Big, big down candle. Bitcoin again holding 70,700. NVIDIA trying to break for a low of day. Let's see if NVIDIA breaks low of day, guys. As of now, it's looking like it's trying to do that, but again, we all know how these QQQ zero DTEs work. They can facelift the market in the blink of an eye. You can see that EMA holding steady again, holding steady. Amazon got a really big wick up again. Apple still looking heavy. Microsoft's pushing. Nvidia is still just stuck in this range. Qs are still slightly negative, slightly negative in this range. Oil's faded. A retest on Microsoft's EMA113 will break this QQQ EMA113. Notice this orange moving average. Microsoft's well above it. Qs are sitting right on it. So Apple still looking heavy. Amazon still looking heavy. I think this is where we break it. All right, there's the little break. This could turn into a bit of a flush into the end of the day. It's, you know, we'll see if they negate this pop. But I mean, really, since you had that pop, the volume was minuscule all day long. And then you had this big pop. And look at the volume that's traded in the last hour here. A lot of distribution, considering we've made a lower high. A lot of sell side people unloading positions here. Now, I mean, obviously, it's the queues firmed up there went positive, but you are still seeing some profit taking coming in. Final 12 minutes, NVIDIA is holding support, Microsoft holding here, Apple still selling, Google trying to press, Meta trying to press. NVIDIA is firming up though off of these lows. Russell's trading at 210.26, 210.26 on the Russell. So they're trying to bounce the cues here. Microsoft still hasn't back tested its EMA here. Whoa, look at that pop on Microsoft. Holy, did anybody see that? Jesus Murphy, what a candle. What a candle on Microsoft. Did anyone see that? Huge pop. It was really Microsoft and Microsoft alone. They're trying to end it positive. So they are pushing Microsoft positive, Nvidia pushing. So that's a fat finger. Bye, bye, bye. They're pumping Microsoft up here. That's helping the queues. They're dropping Meta. They're lifting Apple. They're lifting Nvidia. Again, there's still 10 minutes left. Was that a little bit of a fake liquidity grab there? Potentially. What insane price action there. That was really wild. NVIDIA almost made a new low of day there. Microsoft went briefly positive back to the negative side now, but they are trying to facelift it again. Wow. What a spike back up. NVIDIA ripping, Microsoft still pushing. 
They're pumping the two mega caps here. Apple's pumping. Big stick on NVIDIA, big stick on Microsoft. QQQ still holding that EMA 113. Apple trying to press. Meta's getting a bid. Amazon, Tesla's even catching a bid now. See how fast they wick it up on you in some of these names? My Hail Mary play. 100 put. 1830. What are you what are you putting a short on, Michael? What's your Hail Mary put? Is that on the NDX? And they're trying to keep the cues positive, slightly down. Microsoft slightly negative too, but they are trying to almost push the cues positive here. We'll see Apple getting sold into, Google being sold into, Microsoft still holding firm, Nvidia holding firm. They really dropped Apple. They're selling Amazon now, selling MSFT. Meta still holding. Apple coming down to its 10-minute EMA 113. Microsoft coming back lower. NVIDIA is holding firm. Big down candle on Apple though. Google's coming in now. Russell 2000 caught a big green candle to the upside. Still trying to hold the cues. US Tech 100, yeah. Yeah, so the NDX. All right, they're pumping NVIDIA. Still dropping Google. Dropping Meta. Net, net, cues are just stuck in this range at the moment. But Microsoft trying to press now. Big dump on Meta. Big dump on Apple. Microsoft, NVIDIA still trying to firm up. Amazon getting rejected. What insane volatility here. This is insane. They don't want to let the cues fall here, it seems. Wow. This is incredible volatility. Meta is getting slaughtered. Apple getting a big stick up. NVIDIA getting a nice green candle. Microsoft just range bound. Q's trying to press again. Big bounce in Apple. Reversal in Amazon. Q's are just still range bound here. Final five minutes. Seeing crazy price action across the board. Meta's trying to firm up now. Tesla as well. Amazon. NVIDIA's still trying to push higher here. Microsoft still just struggling in this range. We've seen some pretty crazy Amazon getting rejected. Google coming in now. We've seen some pretty crazy candles form here. These wicks, big spikes up, big spikes down, big spike down. It's been uh, eventful for sure. Oil taking a breather.
Google coming in, Amazon coming in, Microsoft, Nvidia just holding steady, Qs are just holding steady. Trying to take the Q's green again. Down by 16 cents. And they're gonna take the Q's flat. We'll see. Are they they turn Microsoft green? They've turned the Qs. Qs are still slightly negative, but trying to go positive here. Nvidia is pressing into the close. Everything is pressing pretty much except for Google and Amazon. They got clapped on the downside. Meta too. That Meta got hit on the downside. Big bid in NVIDIA here, late into the session. Really sizable gain on NVIDIA. From 901 all the way up. Right now, Qs and Microsoft are still red. Seems like we're just going to be stuck in this range until the close. Final 47 seconds of trading. And they're dropping it into the close. Look at that sell off into the close. Holy. Jeez, what a dump into the close. So those 444s just went in the money. What a dump there. Holy shit. Gold ripping. What a crazy session, guys. What a crazy session. All right, that's a wrap. Thank you all for tuning in. Um, definitely stay tuned for more market research uh, members. I will have a lot to discuss over the weekend. A couple of nice trades that we were able to take in the live trading room. So again, thank you all for tuning in. And it's been a pleasure. Everybody enjoy their long weekend. Obviously, futures will react tomorrow. Um, so we can still watch that. But watch crypto over the weekend because the dollar is closing the session strong. So I'm curious to see if they uh, hold firm. On that note, thank you all for tuning in. We'll see you on the charts a bit later. Cheers, everybody. Thank you, Eric. Thanks, Briston. Thanks, Paul. Thanks, Michael. Thanks, It's Common Sense. Ram, everybody else, whoever I did mention. Thank you all, Bart. Pleasure doing trading with you all today. Cheers, guys.